What? Oh boy. What? What? In the butt? Oh, I knew that was coming. No. That's what. That's what Ben did last night, or he had. And I don't know what you guys like oh. to do. I was gonna say, weren't you guys hanging out last night, Ian? <laughs> No. <laughs> Giggity. He's like, I'm not gay, but I like to think it was. I could do better than you. <laughs> so, welcome to this week's shit fest. Uh, I'd like to thank Ben for joining us. Hi, Ben. Well, it wouldn't be a real shit fest if I wasn't here to go. <sighs> <laughs> right? That's all true. Right. So you, you all you suddenly remember why you come on the show just for that. No, I forget why I come on the show all the time. <laughs> uh, uh, okay, so by the way, I do have a gripe to pick with YouTube in general. Um, YouTube. So, yeah. So oh, I went you told to... us YouTube has done something bad, Ian. I don't believe it. They don't <laughs> do good things. Oh no, he's on that bandwagon. Uh, Let me guess, they're well, unfollowing you. That's what it is. Losing yeah. subscribers. Something, something so that... about losing money. <laughs> so we're we're owing subscribers then. <laughs> YouTube's like you, you gotta owe it. you. You have to make it so you give us subscribers. YouTube here, we need our subscribers back. Yeah. Um, I want subscribers. Well, it's it's not a huge deal. It's just uh, so I went to I I went to look through uh, that list of tags that Frank gave me, and then I was gonna put a bunch of tags of my own on there, make it really long list. But oh, guess what? YouTube only gives you five hundred characters, not words or tags, but characters. Oh. In total oh. for tags. So that's like five so tweets. So it's like the... Tw so, yeah. That's no... Well, if tweets are 250, that's just no, two. No, tweets are 140. Uh, or 120, isn't it? 140. They, they lowered it? I, th I thought it was over 200 back no, in the day. No, no, no. It's no, never been. It was, it was 140, but they were going to up it because the idea was that it's enough to give you a, a, a text plus a little bit of space for a character name because an average text message is about 200 characters. Yeah. So, uh, the best that I could do is I I put uh, a list of I think it was like twenty, like single word tags that were just like generic for the show. So and it's like, well, are you using any uh, YouTube plugins in? Because I use two for uh, for t getting better looks at the stats on channels and pages. Uh, no, I didn't. I don't know about all I this use, uh, stuff. Well, I use a uh, TubeBuddy and. Uh, VidIQ, I think, is the other one. But buddies. Well, TubeBuddy like shows you the but the the, uh, the, the tags people are using in videos and stuff. So that and like right. the search search thing. So if people are searching for tech, you can see how you know it shows you how popular people are searching for it and how much competition there is and stuff like that. It's pretty useful. And then yeah, VidIQ that's... shows you like the search rankings and how often it's shared on Facebook, Twitter, and stuff. Right. That's another thing. I was sort of surprised because I thought that the YouTube videos used to show, like, I thought they showed the tags, but I guess they got rid of that now because somehow people were abusing it or something. I, I don't know how you well, abuse like they got rid of tags. the annotations. Like, they're trying to phase that out. You can still do it. They don't like, they're making it harder. Well, that's why you use TubeBuddy because then it'll show you the tags everybody's using and it'll show you, like, the tags for specific channels as well as videos and what you're searching like, for, so... Oh no, I'm I'm copying the tags that you have on your video. Oh well, no, you know, it's, can't. It's a thing just like how back in the day search engines if you if you put in a bunch of unrelated stuff just to get higher search rankings on, in your meta tags, that was a big deal, so Google said, "Well, screw that." So, anyway. So, let's start off with Ian since he's already talking about his gripes for the week. You know what grinds my gears? Things like YouTube. <laughs> Hey, I can have a, a a grind rant sometimes. I mean, I know you're the king of it, Frank. It is your no, 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 I'm not. I'm not. You, duh. 
Doug is. Oh well, yeah, that's. I would say Doug definitely well, more. But well, show me anything that Doug is happy about. <laughs> <laughs> that's I that's mean, true. To be to fair, the... <laughs> when he comes on the show, his his happy is things that I'm least angry about. Right. <laughs> so. Anyway, Ian, uh, go ahead and tell us what else you've been up to. Uh, you were saying before we got on the air that uh, it, uh, the weather uh, caught you off guard. You were unawares. Were you out and about in the uh, chilly climate? No, it's, well, it's like I mean, I got a sore, got a bit of a sore throat because the weather went from mid seventy five to like under forty. Yeah, the next day because it's Ohio. I mean, <laughs> yeah, well, we I had the shittiest weather in Ohio. Again. Yeah, so, I mean, originally I heard Friday was supposed to be like 30, but then they said it was supposed to be 70. But then also, it's like, guess what, guys? Get ready for the global warming. Because it's not like we're going to have uh, an atmosphere much longer anyway. But I went on a went on a date. Well, not, I didn't go on a date, but I, I had a date with a girl. She came over to my place. Ooh. So you ordered it. <laughs> yeah, we ordered it. <laughs> Uh, yeah. Virtual high five. Ah. Uh. <laughs> uh, date in anyway. Well, the problem was is she dyed her. Uh, oh, she, that's a sad. She went date. to the salon. She dyed her hair. No, yeah. not that kind of dye. She dyed her hair in uh, like purple, and it uh, it was like it was like bleeding onto her pillow, and it stained her neck. And stuff, so like, Freak she didn't really want to go out with that. My uh, it ruined his pillow. And my uh, my ex, she had black hair, but she would dye it blue black, right? Uh, and that's the kind where it's black, but in the right light, you can see hints of blue. It's like a blue sheen. Yeah, you know what happened? What she changed to a different brand of dye one time, and you know, after like some dyes, you put it in. And to keep it vibrant, you don't, you know, you don't wash it at all. It just stays there, like the brighter colors. Right. But for this dye, it was recommended. You, well, usually with dyes, you like the darker ones. Sometimes you wash them to make sure that it won't bleed. So she's like, "Okay, I'm gonna take a shower." She took a shower. And she came out, and all the color had ran down her back, and left purple, oh, like uh, all the way from like her shoulders. To the backs of her fucking feet. <laughs> uh, Stained into her skin. That's okay. Frank Frank dyed his hair <laughs> black and then tried to dye it blonde and, well, blue and then blonde or something like that. And it came out like Easter egg basket grass green. Yeah, because, uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Yellow and blue make green. I forgot. <laughs> well, don't you have to, uh, usually for like brighter colors like that, don't you have to bleach? bleach it first and then put the color over so it has a lighter base yeah yeah well the thing was i was already dark and when i tried to, to bleach it i didn't try to bleach it as a thing i, I listened to what my mother did because she's a hairdresser see oh boy uh, which, which was my problem is that why she gave us a mullet till we were like 13 for no a bowl cut mullet. <laughs> like where it's just a ring around the top and then long but no but like then we uh, had the rat she tried to give us a rat tail we're just like cut this thing off just give, give me the scissors do it right. But no, like uh, we had ponytails growing up, but then it got started getting split ends, and she just she's like, let me let me braid it into a rat tail, and even then we're just like, no, no <laughs> I've stupid. had this my entire life, but cut this off. <laughs> get, get rid of this fucking thing. My neck wants to breathe and feel the air. <laughs> it's like I am not. I we reached a level where like, sorry, the white trash is just pushing back. We just could not. I, I not told her. I said, can you, she was gonna give me a haircut. I said, can you not give me like a bowl cut? Yeah, yeah. I look in the mirror. I'm like, that's a bowl cut, mom. Oh, I thought you wanted this. No, that's not at all what I asked for. Thank you. No wonder she's not oh, a beautician you think, anymore. You think Bob you can has go an in interest and, in doing whatever you want? No, like, she would oh, do she whatever her, she would want. She Her, her and desires like, uh, go first, then she tells you that, well, no, that's what you asked for. <laughs> yeah. No, when I when I was, you know, when you, we, were, we were in high school, the thing was big, baggy jeans with the tore up bottoms. Mm -hmm. Still kind of popular. Right, it was the Jinko day. No, well, no, now well, it's the skinny well, pants. Yeah, no, no, it wasn't even Jinkos. It was, I had a pair of uh, some kind of pants I loved, and the bottoms were yeah. frayed because they were the kind where I'd step on the backs of them, and they were just right. Yeah. I loved them. And my mom said, those are raggedy. I'm going to cut them. I said, if you would do, wait until I'm wearing them so that they're not fucked up. And then I and come in one day, and she'd cut them without me there, and they came up to my fucking shins, like above That's my okay. shoe. 
Well, that's okay. Ruin well, my favorite pair of pants now. Um, thanks. One time, my one time, my mom, she she said she she fixed a hole that was in my coat, and I went and I was like, "Where's my? What, you stitched my pocket shut, mom." She's like, "Oh, I thought that was a hole." <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> we uh, we love our mother, but sometimes, man. I mean, she did fill our house with smoke twice, remember? Twice, yeah, yeah, twice. You, you figure the one time you can understand it. No, 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 no. Yeah, do it again. Maybe and it'll she stop. she wonders it. why she can't taste anything anymore. Well, you, yeah. you, had, you had a wood-burning stove in our basement in the house growing up, and it was uh, not uh, sufficiently ventilated. It wasn't connected to anything. It used to sit on the porch, and Dad just took it downstairs because the neighbors complained about it. And then she decided, I got some wood to burn, and started burning it filled the house with smoke. So we all told her, oh, don't do that again. All our stuff, it smells like cigars. And she waited till you know, we all got the steak cleaned out and, and then did it again. Yeah, my friend's like, why do your clothes smell like cigars? Because <laughs> it was piped straight into my closet is the problem. Anyway, I'm not bitching about yeah. that. So, uh... But, and, anyways, like, she, she was almost, like, debating not coming because of that, but I was like, I don't. I don't really care, but like, if it would make you feel more comfortable, we could uh, just stay in and stuff, and you know, like order order in. And she said that would be, be cool. So we just we watched the uh, that Magnificent Seven movie, and well, how'd you we like sort of the remake or the original? The le- last year's one. Yeah, Quentin okay. Tarantino or not Tarantino. Uh, the Chris Pratt film. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. The one we yeah. saw over at your house, Ben. Yeah. Watched it with pops on Blu-ray. Yeah, mom asking what what was going on the whole time. The world was just like, <laughs> pay attention. <laughs> Where's that? Then then the tile just shows up across the screen. Well, if you'd wait. <laughs> Boy, that Chris Pratt, he's dreamy, isn't he? Well, yeah. yeah. I mean. <laughs> well, I met her at Mark's and I oh, s- no. said, hey, let's, let's, uh, why well, just did this so I uh, like, I can pick out some pop and like other stuff that I thought she might like. So, uh, I did. I guess she likes the this stuff. They find they brought it back in the store now. I can't see reason, it's the pitch black. Blur. Oh, pitch black. Uh, yeah. No, that yeah, won out over it. That, it won out over Baja Blast. Yes, Baja Blast and in pitch black. Season. It was like whichever one gets more sales and more votes, uh, the, that'll be the one to go with. And fucking pitch black ended up being the one to take it over. So Baja yeah, Blast they, well, can't buy the source. They they tweeted about it, and I said. They were like, "Oh, it's finally on. It's on shelves, and it's you know, great. You know, like, oh yeah, yeah. It's been on shelves here too, because ever ever since it came out, nobody's bought it. <laughs> so yeah, well, I, was, congratulations. I was gonna say, when did the decision take like half a year for them to finally stock the shelves with the winner? It's then <laughs> no, it's, I, I think it, it tastes it like cough syrup. This has been soda talk with Ian Ben and <laughs> well, <laughs> if I you like ever it, want I, something that tastes like purple, pitch black. <laughs> Well, I, I like it just as much as the black label, but the no, black no, label is a lot no. stronger, I think. Black, black label tastes kind of like berry. This tastes like grape yeah. flavoring that if you gave the Kool-Aid package to the kid and said, I would put this much in, and then it's just a slug so, of purple. So basically you're water. talking about drink uh, concentrate. And yes, remember, Frank is the kid that, that used to drink Welch's soda growing up. He loves him some grape drink. but yeah, the, the Well, he doesn't like either, either of them, does he? I would, I would, I, I like, like Black Label. I'll, I'll oh, drink you that. Do. Yes, I'll drink that. Oh, I did not I'm, know. I'm going out of my way to buy it, though. There's other ones oh, higher okay. on my list. But, uh, because I got it, I tried it. I was like, okay, yeah. But that fucking, that pitch black, it's like, you know how Kool Aid is sugar, water, and purple? This is more sugar, <laughs> purple, a little, a little water, a little, a little bit. But, uh, anyway, when you said you met her at Mark's, I thought that was like, how you met, like, oh, hey, bitch, uh, where are the cookies? Uh, oh, hey, you let you go out some time. <laughs> Have fun for your money and save at Mark's. Isn't that their tag thing? Isn't that what they did? Not sponsored by. Yeah. They don't have a Mark's here. Where is the closest Mark's? Oh. Let me ask. I, uh, I like how this, this goes Mark's. from a show to Frank going, hey, hey, and another thing, and another thing, and let me just Google some. So anyway, Where's back to Ian. Mark's? You. You went on a on a date, Ian. Please continue without Frank derailing you. Whoa. Uh, oh, oh, here we go. Well, yeah, go ahead. Um, 
Well, I mean, we just watched the movie and uh, she left. Like she had, I was gonna let her stay the night, but she she was worried about her kid because just her kid's like really sick right now, probably because of this oh. Ohio weather. No, he was too <laughs> close to you. He got sick. You well, ripped off on him. I mean, the thing the thing is, Ian, like it's it's important for people to know what gets you sick, you know, because it's like with this weather up and down, I basically seal myself in the house when the weather changes. It's like I avoid okay. giraffes and dampness. You you avoid yeah. giraffes. But there's yeah. there's a giraffe giving birth at birth in the zoo right now. She's been on live cam for like a week. Okay. So anyway, here's hold on, guys. I just used Cortana for the first time ever, because uh, I had it and I've never used it. First time ever. Ever. Well, I had it. That was my when I reinstalled the operating system. I said, you know what? I blocked it last time. I don't give a fuck. Let's put it in. So I asked it where the closest marks was. I don't give a fuck. Oof. Right. First, I forgot it brings up uh, Edge, which I sorry Microsoft, fuck your browser. Uh, and second, sorry, it goes. Bono. It says second. It's not. This is not set up as your default browser. No, you're not going to do that. I don't care. I go to Mark's website, right? I don't know if this is the right. Uh, how do you spell Mark's? Is it a C or a K? C. Oh, M A R C. Okay. okay, so that's why. Well, one thing. Apparently, there's another store called Marks or something else. It's like Store Locator. I tried that, and it's like, what's your zip code? I put in my zip code, and it's like, sorry, there are none within four hundred or 40 kilometers, and it's a picture of fucking Alberta and Saskatchewan. And I'm like, that's not even close to the zip code I put in. So the internet bringing you the wrong things since Al Gore made it up. Okay. But no, yeah. um... Speaking of other wrong things, Ben, how are you doing? <laughs> yeah, what's what you you've been up to? Are you gonna fill us in on your date, or are you gonna be still gonna be? No, he's shit. It's like I told Frank before the the streams start. I don't gotta tell you shit. <laughs> no. So uh, hey guys, check this out. Date wise, I pref I prefer not to involve people, the public, in my uh, uh, date plot. life because. <laughs> No, I would. I charge extra for that one. I prefer Aww. not to involve people in, in my love life, you know, because then you start getting asked questions and. Uh, but Ben, I'd... but if you let if you let mom know, if you she, let mom know anything, she starts suggesting things, it and it's just people, better not to let. It tells people shit that's not true. No, she remember said... Frank. Didn't you uh, go, like fly out somewhere to meet a chick and it, and like you you met people through dating sites and then mom says now if you meet people if you talk to people on the internet don't let them like know where you live or anything you're not like you know that's that's where I met my ex actually I don't it, know why well that's also where you met your wife through the internet yes so <laughs> yeah and it's like but, you're just like mom it's a little late for you to be doing that <laughs> right well no um what was like uh. What was I just gonna say? Thanks for thanks for derailing my train of thought, Ben. Oh, oh, oh! I derailed you. We were ta we were just talking to Ian about what his day was, and somebody went down a rabbit hole, rabbit hole, rabbit hole, and so he's looking for where Marx is. Yes. Yes. Anyway, it was kind of cool, but like, she made this noise like when you have a commercial for a video game. It's like, yeah, it's in the game. That's the sound it made. Um. Anyway. But uh, oh, yeah. no, mom. My mom mails me and my wife a card on our anniversary. She's not involved in that. <laughs> I'm like, uh, and and like, is this a dowry? She was is just being nice, Frank. <laughs> but yeah, um, congratulations anyway. on still staying with my son, even though he's a giant dumbass. <laughs> right. I got the other dumbass at home. If you want to borrow him for a little while. <laughs> No. no. I also, no, guys, I was just online yeah. before the show began. Uh, uh, we were talking, and all of a sudden, my chair went, and I started sinking out. Oh. I was griping. I was griping about my chair, so I, I get on Amazon as you do, and I start looking up. Uh, I was like, you know, this chair is not that comfortable. If I'm gonna upgrade, I want. I was like, ergonomic office chair, right? Because that's 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 a reasonable search, right? I don't know what the fuck. <laughs> One of the first things that came up. <laughs> it's cl it's clickbait before there was clickbait. It's a song <laughs> by a fucking by Electronic Strawberry or le sorry Electric Strawberry, not Electronic Electric Strawberry. Yeah, I was for those of you who uh, 
care I was running behind because I had to take a massive sink my battle shit. <laughs> I'm just going to get drunk while I listen to you because there's no point in following. But, by the way, Frank, did you see a, uh, that Tech Talk is going to be ending here with uh, Jay and Barnacles? No, why is that? They're going on hi- hiatus because they're like, we've been doing this for like four fucking years and they're like uh, taken away from our time or something. They're going on hiatus. Oh, they should pay the bills we yeah. keep on doing. Like like diabetes? <laughs> yeah. Oh, hey, Ian. You were talking about how awesome racing chairs are. Here's one for $189. Ooh. Racing, racing chairs are awesome, but let's talk about racing car beds. <laughs> Cause that's where I sleep in a race car. Where do you sleep? I sleep in a big bed with my wife. Uh, actually, uh, hey, you remember you remember uh, the uh, Force Awakens. You know the, the, you know uh, John Boyega, right? Is, no, that's right. Is that I, I don't know. Uh, well, you know the black guy is in Force Awakens. No, nope. he was originally he was originally in Attack the Block, and his character well, turns out to, to been a fifteen year old kid who was like the leader of a, a street gang of kids. But then they show his room, and he has a and he has a, a racing car bed. He's like, "Oh, do you have a little brother?" He's like, "No." Oh, well, you look older than you are. That's <laughs> <was> like. <laughs> uh, but um. Anyway. By the way, who yeah, here would pay ten thousand dollars for a bed? Because that's what uh, Jerry did. What's it come with? It, it's it's come one with? of those sleep number beds. Oh, what, what one of those? Uh... <clears throat> Actually, hey Ben, I've got a question for you. Oh, Do you no. ever get your gout flares in your big toe? In my, the, well, that's the where stereotypical they... place. Even my doctor's like, "Does your toe flare up?" I go, "Actually, no, I well, do." Well, Frank, I did. That's where I first got it, Frank. Because remember when I f- first had a, a gout flare up, I couldn't walk, and that's where I've got a bump on the joint from it. So, mm-hmm. although the last time I had a very serious gout problem, my hand was stuck in a claw for three days. So it's it's like, ah, that's ah. why I usually don't drink soda, you, but that was a Jim Carrey character, it. and then uh, liar, liar, the claw, and then the guy came in, duck claw. <coughs> no, the kid is just like, horrible. no, that's no, okay. no, don't do that, stop that. <laughs> no, um, because uh, yesterday I I didn't have a, a, a full on flare up where I'm throbbing in pain, but my foot swelled out, and the first time I looked at my toe, I was like. That, that looks like all the pictures I've ever seen of anybody having a flare-up. That you, mine usually are just a burning pain you feel inside, like depression and sadness. Just eat you away and you wish you were dead, but you can't see it. This, you go, oh, yeah, that's a swollen fucking foot. That's a, that's, it looked like when I, I had a broken toe and then my foot swelled up and then I went to the doctor and they, said, and they didn't know what was wrong with me, so they had to do all these x-rays. And it turned out to be a broken toe, and that's how I found out I had gout. So that was the first time in like about a decade or so that I've had an actual flare-up in my toe. It's usually my knees now. My knees are my weak joint. They fucking, they hurt. Well, my knees cramp yeah, up, but that's just because sitting's bad for you. Well, yeah. the weather change, I'm like, oh, I'm rubbing my knees like an 80-year-old man. Oh, there's a storm coming. I can feel it in the next well, thing I know. I remember in high school, I was in I was in the jazz band, and Frank was hanging out waiting to be picked up with my ride, and I'm sitting there rubbing my knee, he's rubbing his, and we realize, oh, we just turn around. <laughs> but, uh... Both have shitty knees. Hey, Frank, my my grandpa, uh, when he visited one time here, because he used to live in uh, California, and mm-hmm. he visited us here in Ohio. And Fuck uh, your weather. That mom, yeah, my ste- he has the gout in his foot, and my stepmom took him up to the doctor, and he had to, the doctor had to, like, s- suck out of the, this, like, cottage cheese stuff out of it. She's like, yes. she's going to throw up, man. Yeah, that's the actual uh, uric acid. That, that see, with gout, you have uh, oh, you also have a condition called hypouricemia. You you produce too much uric acid in your body, and it collects in your joints, and that's what causes the pain and the swelling. Uh, Welcome to Gout Talk so, Up with Frank and Ian. Yes, it it's fucking, out about you know the what grounds you know what grinds my gears gout. No, you were talking about the gout. Okay. No, when you were talking about Jerry, that reminded me because I follow him on Instagram and he had a flare up and he, his one foot swole out and got all puffy. He's like, "Look, my toe looks like a sausage about ready to pop." And uh, that's, that's that's what you say it. before you're able to not able to walk. That's probably not a good thing. Yes, he was he was on bed rest. 
I I get like that. That's why I have my uh, FMLA because I can't get out of bed. I can't even to get downstairs to open the door to let the dogs out takes all my fucking energy to where I collapse because I'm like, oh god, this hurts. It's like I'm walking on glass shards. So this wasn't a, like that. This was just a, a, a limping pain. I was dragging my foot and it was puffed out like it, it, gross, but you know it didn't. I was I didn't feel like I was gonna die. <laughs> so. Uh, Anyway, Ben, sorry to interrupt. What how, what have you been up to? <laughs> yeah, we. He, I, I think don't even he was, remember you know, now. To, I've been listening oh, to. Hold on. He, <laughs> he was about to tell us about his day, then. Uh, then I fucked it. That is where it. babies yeah. come from. Well, thanks, guys. Uh, it's been nice talking with you. I will never t- share the story again. So it was great <laughs> getting it all out. Um, I, I can't wait for the story where you're like, "Well, we were. You see, we were doing this, and then our roommate came in and." And I said, hey, oh. more the merrier. <laughs> uh, yeah, and anyway. it's a guy. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> so anyway, Whoa. as I was saying. Um, Give peace a chance. No, I, right now I'm trying, to, I'm trying to figure out what's the best way to manage my business stuff. Because ben. I realize I realize with ADHD and whatnot, it's uh, kind of hard to to get on top of everything and especially since everybody I talk to kind of just adds the anxiety um is that well you knew you got on top last night didn't you because I try because like I'm trying to talk about my business affairs and and Frank and Ian are just sitting there talking about (laughs) doing it and and then I tell my mom about my business plans and she's just like well you know you better pay off that credit card you this and that and all and adding stuff to get me worried and it's like you know I'd like to be able to have somebody talk about my business plans that doesn't want to throw like random shit at me so uh, I'm trying to figure oh, that come out on, man. well well I mean I th- weren't you supposed to be getting a uh, you know like some kind of mentor for that or something well How that's that more going? Like, that's more of a coaching thing I've been, I yeah. haven't I haven't had another session with him yet because I I I was kind of trying to show that I was following his advice and and I kind of picked like you pick up a thousand things and then you're like well how do I get okay I got to start with the thing and you know it's like it's a, it's a slow moving process. <laughs> so hey Ian, did I did you uh, check out that uh, li- uh link I sent you earlier this week uh, for uh, stopping auto playing of uh, videos? Uh, I did see that. I didn't get a chance to check it, it out, but there, there's a browser plugin. I forgot about it until I was looking at uh, Google ex, uh, extensions or whatever, and it's like, hey, this is there. But it, like, even though it's got a lot of stars, some people say there's still uh, autoplay shit that it doesn't stop. So, I mean, I have one just for like stopping autoplay music on Tumblr because really, it's 2017. Nobody wants to hear your My Chemical Romance playlist. I'm sorry, we don't. <laughs> I, I I don't I just view Tumblr on my phone. I don't even know what they actually look like on the web interface. Oh yeah, by the way, Ben, I I did actually uh have a need to check out your website the other day because uh Nate was asking about your how your comic stuff was doing and I was trying to show him your comics, but your website is like really basic now or something and I couldn't find your comic strips. Yeah. Yeah, I took I took the web comics down because I haven't been updating them in, in a while, and I figure you know I need to have the best representation of me and what I do now, and I'm trying to focus on animated shorts. So mm. I, the only comic I still have up now is Billy Badass because it's on Tumblr. So the other ones I just check out my Tumblr. You know. Yeah, yeah. Well, did I have to go to your Tumblr to check that out? I mean, you said well, you, you have it on to, your site. Well, for that one, you just have to go to badasscomic.tumblr.com. Dot com. Uh, I mean, I haven't plug. updated it in a while, but it, you know. Uh, so does anyone want to know what I've been up to? No, not really. You've been talking well, like, since we started, Frank. So sorry, I, I, <laughs> I've got like a a rush today. Um, well, I know he's ADHD, he to, Frank. He's he's ready to talk what, about his desk shit. See, what you do, Frank, is you start medication for that, and then it really helps the urges. I have enough medicine because, already. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. I take four pills a day, but okay. Oh, four. Oh, only four? No, I, four types oh, of pills, Frank. Okay, hold on, hold on. In the morning, I, I take uh, my vitamin D, oh, my vitamin fish D oil. Count. I, fish, I take, oh, so you're I, taking I, the stuff I, mom gave take, you. <laughs> no, 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 no. I take I take, take 5,000 uh, uh, of the uh, vitamin D, 
because I, I'm like deficient in it. <laughs> and I take mm -hmm. fish oil because uh, my my uh, for my coat. <laughs> no, it's for my joints. Um, it's for his mane. I also t yes, his tailored mane really works. Um, I take uh, uh, Colchicine with um, another uh, thing in it for my uric acid. Uh, I also take a, a prescription strength ibuprofen because I was taking four of those at a time twice a day, and uh, that's uh, too hard to do. And <laughs> then I also Andy, take uh, you, what's the other? One? You guys are old, man. I don't take anything. Oh, then my allopurinol. <laughs> oh shit. And uh, and if I have a flare up, I take two endomethacin three times a day until the pain goes away. Uh, you, you know what's ironic, Frank, is you're a you're a big D, but you're deficient in vitamin D. I got some D for you, Ian. Bend over, big uh, boy. No. Oh. You two just want me to leave so you can fucking get it over oh. with. I mean, we've all been waiting for it. Just fucking do it. We'll, wait, we'll turn around and wait. Waiting just, for it. I know it can't last that long, but no, both of you guys. So just go you're on. waiting for it. <laughs> you're waiting for it. Okay. Anyway. <laughs> So what has Franklin been up to? Uh, well, today I, I, we have a we have this lovely guest room here, which I do with my uh, my part of the show on, and uh, I also have uh, we have a storage area in the uh, bathroom in the master bedroom, and uh, it's I went I was like you know what the hell is in here because I wanted to clear some room out and put some of the shit I have in here in there, and I spent a good half of the day going through there. I've got my old dresser I found out from my apartment before I met my wife. And I started digging through it. I was like, first off, it's warped. I got to throw it the fuck away. Second, there was like nothing in there. Why the hell do I still have this thing? I don't put I don't put clothes in there. <laughs> so I had to haul that apart and take it out. And then I moved all my uh, magazine collection in there. And uh, now I've just got to throw away all my boxes that I uh, uh Abast when I was building my lovely PC here. So oh. that was a good chunk of the fucking day. Moving stuff around and getting dust on my belly as you do. Well, it looks pretty clean in there now. That's some well, kind of shock. <clears throat> well, I've got, you know, the, I still got the lights out because there's still shit off to the just out of major view of the camera. But uh, I, was, I have a bunch of boxes I don't want to just throw away because it will. They have broken down. Because, like, uh, you know, stuff that I'm not going to RMA at any point, or if I move, I don't need a box for. Like, I kept my computer tower box, because you're going to need that, and my uh, CPU cooler box, because there are other brackets and shit. If I change uh, CPUs later, I can reuse it. Apparently, with you... uh, Noctua, if you uh, go to uh, um, the new uh, AM4 socket, uh, all you have to do is uh, ask them, and they'll mail you an adapter, and you can use your uh, original uh, cooler from your AM3. Hmm. So that's pretty cool. You see, I, I would be <clears throat> less worried about keeping my uh, tower box and the other components because that's more mechanical, and like it's like, hey, it's just it's just sitting there. It's not well, anything electronic. Well, know? like I don't I, my tower box. I wanted to keep because my wife and I, as much as we love our house. We don't want to fucking stay here forever. Uh, so if I, if we decide to move somewhere, pick, which is more, which would, would you rather pick up a computer and carry it around like this and hope to God you don't rattle something loose or put it in a fucking box it was made for with styrofoam? So it's just for ease of future, you know. It's in a closet somewhere. I don't have to look at it. Uh, I, plus, I kept the boxes that my motherboards came in because... They have certain little components, you know, like the screw for the M.2 drive and, you know, uh, uh, shit. You know, in case I have to send it back, I have that. Uh, so. Dude, I just throw, like, my monitor in the back seat whenever I have to go. Oh, yeah, I'm throwing away the monitor box. This is a, That was the biggest waste of space I had. I was like, this is a 34-inch monitor. Why do I got this fucking box? I bought it secondhand on eBay from Canada. No one's going to fucking get this thing. <laughs> But uh, I didn't know I registered it through uh, LG when I got it, and I didn't think it went through because I didn't get any confirmation or anything. But they sent me a letter, hey, your uh, warranty is about to run out. And I go, and <laughs> I'm not paying you more fucking money. I don't, if it breaks, I'll just buy another one. I don't, 
Uh, but if it breaks, the curved monitors are in now. So that's what you'd have to get. <laughs> then, then the, was it LG one of the companies that got sued or in trouble for their shit, like literally breaking after the warranty would go out? Like they were designed that way. All of them do, Ian. <laughs> They go, oh, it's just past time to get. Oh, it's too fucking late. Oh, <laughs> yeah. we're sorry. But you know uh, what? <laughs> That's sort of messed up. I'm. I feel bad now because I didn't even notice Ben was gone now. Uh oh. Where'd he go? Talking, I'm like, I don't. I don't know, man. He's. Oh no. I mean, where'd he go? Say, hey, I didn't even know you're gone. <laughs> well, he, you know, he just, said he was gonna wait for us to fuck, so you know, I figured he was just being quiet. <laughs> I hope his computer didn't. Oh, he said his browser was fucked up. Oh yeah. Hey, damn it. At least he, uh, he, he said he doesn't want to restart his computer. I told yeah. him just buy a buy us a, 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 an SSD. I understand with his older Mac Pro, he'll he only has a, a set of two instead of set of three. But but an SSD will make a world of fucking difference. Yeah. Hey, did you see a Linus? They're working on that Pet Boy project. Yeah, that was that was crazy. That is crazy. After after uh, the raid array they have, it's what eight hundred. Uh, terabyte usable yeah it's kind of cheating though because it's not it's not really the petabyte because they have to use the storage from their other thing to add up to it or whatever what from their uh cache or uh, what well no like they were all the drives added up to like 800 terabytes but then i think they had to they were going to use like the ssd cache yeah i thought it was no i thought because they yeah. had I thought they had a, a, a petabyte, but then they had to, because of the RAID array, because part of it is parity, it's either, or redundant, like, only part of it's usable, I thought. He talked about that in the fucking video. I can't remember. It I, was, I, I just can't even begin to try to comprehend their setup there, <laughs> what their networking Well, also, shit. you got to also remember, they have off-site storage, too, because when you have that much data you want to have an off-site storage in case for whatever reason you have a fire at your uh oh chrome locked up gonna re oh ben's gonna reboot well that's it for Ben, everybody <laughs> let me hold on let me message him and oh. then frank has to reboot his router well no that i, I just have to go downstairs and flip a switch Actually, and by the time i get back up here you haven't had that with your new one, I don't no, think. No, my, my new modem is a uh, badass. <laughs> yeah. Uh, this is the well, the one I had. Uh, I had Time uh, Time Warner's, uh, you know, one they give you, and then I bought mine because I said I don't want to pay to rent one. And we called and they said, okay, yeah, sure. And they just canceled the you know rental payment. I still have yet to drop it off at Time Warner. I think it's so uh, old they don't give a fuck because like. My dad's my dad's modem is a Wi-Fi router. They just gave him one. Meanwhile, I've got this old one that all it does is uh, internet, and that's it. It doesn't do Wi-Fi. And my, I told you my wife got pissed off at DirecTV and canceled our service. And they said, okay, here's a prepaid envelope. Just mail us the cards. It's literally like a credit card that's inside of the box. Mail that to us, and that's all we fucking want back. The, the boxes and the dish, they're so fucking old, you could just throw them away. And we're like, but and my wife's like, well, that's why I was calling you because the fucker wouldn't work. And they said, oh no, it's a wiring issue, but the, the shit is so old <laughs> that they don't want it back. It's over ten years old, I guess. Yeah. But anyway, um, well, how many news articles do you have uh, tonight, Ian? Well, I I just had five, uh, and then I guess Ben added that one. So. Well, it's a good thing he linked it to you before you rebooted. <laughs> yeah. Um. I only have two because, listeners, I feel sorry to make you uh, sit through a four-hour show <laughs> and growing, uh, ending up probably going to be five, eight-hour shows. <laughs> well, I, that knew, was I, 
That was our longest show in history. I mean, hopefully we don't do that again. Uh, I'll try to limit the number of articles I bring on. The thing is, when I listen to a podcast, I look and go, oh, it's over an hour long. I don't got time for that. And I skip it. No one's fucking going to listen to four and a half hours. I, I thought oh. about it. We let Doug go last week, and then we did our trivia. From It was one o'clock when we let Doug go. It was after two when the show was over. That's a normal show. Just for the fucking trivia. <laughs> that's my point. It's a, that's an hour long to answer to get sixteen right. That's that's fucking. Uh, so yeah. Right. Well, I, don't get me wrong. I enjoy the trivia. It's fun to do, but it takes a long time, and that's the part no one listens to. Yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, it, it. If you're gonna be listening to like. A podcast that is over an hour you're, you're probably just sitting there and doing something else anyways i mean i don't know anybody that just sits there and listens to like a grandma like to the radio in the rocking chair you well know? i listen to podcasts i drive i put it on my, yeah. my uh, radio and drive but that's you know i don't like because if i'm at sitting somewhere where i like video podcasts because i'm like watching television i like to put my attention on one thing i'm not a good multitasker I, I mean, I granted, I have all these nice monitors because I feel less confined and I want more, but I can't focus on more than one thing at a time. I'll have four browser windows open and not tabs, windows, and I'll watch one and then I'll go to the next one without having to close is the thing. Uh, right. At work, I only have the one 20, that's not even a 27 inch monitor, I think. It may, might be 25. And that, it feels, or 22. And I f- feel like I'm in a little space where you open a window, okay, I do this thing, now I gotta minimize. I gotta look at the taskbar, find the other thing. And it takes forever versus just having all this open fucking space is a great feeling. And that's why I want want to do more and get more. Um, but uh, we'll see. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know when this whole new thing will happen. Uh, 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 stay tuned. Well, uh, any more money that I would put probably put in my rig is just saving up for our one of my news articles that I have is some of the Ooh, what the Ryzen got? specs. Oh, uh, are you gonna you gonna upgrade to Ryzen? I don't yeah, know if I well, will. Well, now, like I'm gonna at this. I don't. I don't just have to save up for the Ryzen. You got to save up for the motherboard and then the compatible RAM, probably too. Well, I mean, it's DDR4 now, right? Well, I, I'm not sure. I think mine is just like the. Yeah, I think it's DDR4. I don't know. But uh, I mean, you want to wait a little while anyway, because like the prices just came out, and I was yeah. trying to re. I just. Uh, AMD kind of snuck, snuck one over on me. I've been sitting here hoping for RX 490 forever. Like, after I had the 380, I was like, yeah, but the 490 is going to be great. And then they never announced it. They never said it was going to happen. And then sneakily, I read somewhere, oh, they got an RX 500 coming. And then right after that, they said, oh, by the way, here's some Ryzen shit. And now all the, like, forums and everything are people going, oh, my God, what do I got to do to get the motherboard? And it's like... The shit hasn't even been announced yet. <laughs> well, I I thought they were just going s- straight to the Vega. That's what the uh, five eighty or the five hundred is. Uh, See, okay. the, the, the the five or the four ninety was supposed to, so, rumored to be a dual uh, Polaris, supposedly. Right. But then they said, "Well, it, you might we might just go straight into Vega." So. I'm I'm wanting a new GPU probably before a CPU because my rig I mean I've I I you could still get by today on an i5 hell an i3 if you don't do a lot of anything crazy I, this is a gaming rig but it doesn't have to be the latest um Ben says he'll probably be back on uh, closing if he's not available at 10:30 at the earliest but okay. But uh, what's wrong? Is it how long his computer is going to take? I don't fucking know. Um, but anyway, 
Yeah, no, I, with a eight cores, even though they're AMD cores, so they're not as functionally as efficient as Intel ones. I I have no problems using this thing. It's gonna last me a little while. I can still play the modern games. I mean, I built this rig to play Fallout Four, and I've got probably another five years till Fallout Five, unless Bethesda realized that this is their highest selling game ever, and they figure, well, let's dump a bunch of R and D in this and make something new. So they might come out with something sooner, but I doubt it. I just look forward to sixteen threads. That'll be nice. It'll be it'll be interesting to see. I'm I'm, I'm glued to the YouTube videos where a guy's going to go here. I've got it. Let's review the specs on mode. That's going to be like this. My chair fucking going down on me. So, uh, is it time uh, for the news yet, Ian? Yeah, we might as well get into that. That's uh, not until my third article, but we'll get to it here. Uh, that's a long one. With Ian and no Ben. No. I uh, oh, on a side note. When you said, uh, you know, the, start playing the Ghostbusters theme, it was yeah. on last night thanks to Sling. My wife and I can, we have, uh, we had stars and this weekend and last week it was HBO and uh, Ghostbusters was playing. So it was on, but I didn't fucking watch it. Uh, what would somebody have to do to get you to watch it again? Buy me another Ecto Cooler. That's it. I, I'm a whore. Man, man, that'd take a lot more than that for me. Well, oh, oh, it wasn't that good. Yeah, I mean, I stopped the, for a the, second because I was going downstairs to get a beverage, and it was the part with uh, Dan Aykroyd where he's doing his cameo, and I said, "Okay, well, I'll watch him," and he does his little thing. He's cute. He drives away. I go, "Okay," and then I go back down the fucking stairs. That's all I saw. <laughs> the thing is, is like, I mean, we've we've gone over and over about it, but uh, the thing is, is the other ghost. I was thinking about it the other day, and it's like the other Ghostbusters I just liked more because they were, you know, like they they were comedies, but like they they were more gritty and serious at times too. You know, yeah, like they, they, they weren't like they were the more joke. adult. The first mm-hmm. one was like they weren't they were not in the joke. They played it straight. Second one they were a little into it, and 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 this new one it's they're laughing before they even get done filming it. So, <laughs> but uh, by the way, if the Sling TV, uh. Uh, we, this is not sponsored by them. Totally been awesome. Uh, when we signed up for them, they're like, hey, for extra, you can get HBO. We're like, no, we don't need HBO. We have it for a, a, a couple days, and they're like, hey, you got free HBO this weekend. And then now you got free stars. So I watched uh, Ash vs. the Evil Dead for the first time. That's something I've been holding out for and wanted to see, and I got mm. to see it for free. Mm. On demand. On oh, my time, bitch. <laughs> I've been so watching a, that Flash show. I oh, yeah? Caught up on that, yeah. It's pretty good. <clears throat> Are you, my wife's a big uh, fan of uh, Bates Motel. So, um, yeah. they're kind of, a lot of shows like The Walking Dead and everything, they, they, people get into it, they get pumped up, they watch the entire run, and then they watch the new season. Or they do like we do. I, I mean, my wife, we will wait until the season is over because we'll be like, and then what happens? And then we can't wait a week. I can't fucking do that. That's horse shit. <laughs> Join us next week for the exciting conclusion. I can't do it. I can't. I can't fucking do it. I got. I gotta know what happens. So, I, what we got? I was just <laughs> hesitant on seeing the flash because it was from the CW, and it's like CW is like, oh yeah, Dawson's Creek, like another, <laughs> yeah, Dawson's Creek, Seventh Heaven, or <laughs> Small Five. Was that on there? Or was that on Fox? I I have no idea. I think it was on Fox. But wow, like, I don't. I didn't see Smallville shit, man. I didn't see this story. What what the hell we got here? What the first one? Yeah. <laughs> Holy shit. Yeah, these are uh, the other ones are like a little bit more upbeat, but these first two are kind of depressing. Jesus. 
Twitch streamer dies during 24 hour marathon stream. Jesus Christ. Yeah. Uh, World Tanks uh, streamer Brian Possilbrid. Possilbrid. Uh, Possilbrid. I'm not, not going to try to pronounce that last one. Uh, Vignalt. Vignalt died from um, unknown causes on February 19th after streaming for 22 hours. He was 35 and a father of three. Uh, Vignalt was streaming to raise money for the Make a Wish Foundation. Big Nall would spend multiple days in the same week streaming for uh, upwards of uh, 20 hours. The charity stream was the culmination of one of those weeks. Um, according to stream moderators via PVP Live, uh, Big Nall got up to go smoke roughly 22 hours into his stream at around 3.30 a.m. Central Standard Time. Initially, viewers assumed he'd fallen asleep the next day, however, a friend saw him on Discord and sent him a message. The person who responded wasn't Vignal. Instead, it was a detective from the Virginia Beach Police Department who said they were investigating Vignal's death. Jesus. Yeah. Okay. I mean, that's it's pretty. That's pretty depressing. Well, Most chat the- stream here. He, he goes out to smoke and he dies. See, children, don't fucking smoke. If you just stay inside and play video games, you'll be all right. Jesus. Yeah. That's, at least he was doing it for cherry, but god damn. I mean, this is just like more or less, uh, as a side note, a guy died. But it wasn't like he, it, it's clickbaity because it makes you think that A, he did it on camera, which that didn't happen. And B, uh, it's not like it was the cause of his death. Like, you know, guy gets into Uber car and then the Uber driver kills him. That's okay. This is like Twitch guy dies. No, he just, he, he happened to do Twitch, but he's dead. I, I know this is totally unrelated, but how do you feel when you see a picture uh, of a girl and you're like, hey, she's not too bad looking and then ends up being a transgender uh, well, that is unrelated. Yeah. Why did you, did Stream you find face of the challenges of coming out as transgender on Twitch. You, I was going to say, did you find an article that, uh, here, here's the thing I don't, uh, okay. My, my stance on everything, uh, take it or leave it. This is me personally. Uh, everyone love each other. Uh, uh, bi, gay, straight, uh, asexual, uh, we should all come together and just be happy. We're all alive. It's awesome, isn't it? <laughs> uh, you get to see the freak show of the human race, and if you're in America, you get a front row seat, like George Carlin said. It's You get to see all the crazy shit. We all have fun. And uh, if I see a, a, a dude that I think is a girl, and then it turns out that they're a trans, then they've done their job. They're doing what they're trying to do. More power to them. Uh uh, I like uh, like they say. I wouldn't it's be offended like, if I've, I've had a gay guy hit on me. So I wasn't offended as much as I was like, "Oh, thank you. I don't do that." Uh, well, it's like that. It's happened to me a couple times on some of the dating apps, and it turned out to be the same person that put up like different pictures of them. And I'm like, "Oh, you got me again." Well, you can't. Uh-huh. No, thank God, no. You show up no. with flowers, and you're like, oh, you don't want the dick. Okay. Well, I guess you got me this time. I never understood that, by the way. Like, when someone uh, pretends to be who they are to get somebody back home, what is the best outcome? They're going to go, well, I don't know like guys, but since you're here. Oh. I don't – I mean, like, just be open and have a discussion. I I can understand uh, it's a difficult thing to talk about. Um I don't know. Um, uh, it's, I I mean, yeah, I mean, you can do whatever you want, but, like, as long as you're open about, like, <clears throat> what you are, I guess, so that, you know, like, because sometimes I feel like it would be a, you know, sort of, like, uh, well, everyone, you know, I that mean, wouldn't be, that would be dishonest, I feel. 
Well, and, 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 you know, the world we live in, there's a lot of assholes who will make people feel bad about being who they are. And that's fucking horrible. Um, right. That's a okay. bad place to be. It's stupid. Um, personally, I don't have any children. My wife and I don't plan on having any children. Uh, but I like to think that if I had any kids and they turned out to be like, if I had a gay son, I'd be the best parent for him. Because I'd be like, cool, what's on TV? <laughs> It, w- well, it wouldn't even be it wouldn't even be an issue so you know here's yeah i'm a, i'm a proud of, i'm about to do something that i've never done on this show frank uh-oh and i oh, was no. i'm about to uh commit suicide actually give on you a stream. no oh god dude don't even <laughs> joke about that man come <laughs> on it's so wrong i was about to give you i should take i was gonna give you a big compliment i should take that shit back now go ahead uh, no, no, no. <laughs> um, what do you got, man? I was gonna say I think you would be. Uh, that kind of sucks because I think you would would actually be a pretty cool dad. So. Well, thanks. I don't think it scares the shit out of me. I, as a pet owner, I'm terrified that I'm gonna fuck something up. Last night, I let the dogs out, and my wife's go. She goes to sleep before I do. I'm always up messing around the computer. She says, "Did the you know." Our uh, Jack Russell come in. I go well. She I didn't let her out with the, you know, other dogs. So I she should be inside. Okay, so she goes to sleep. I'm playing on the computer, whatever. I'm getting ready to go to bed. And normally when I go to bed, I put the dogs in their crates, just because they will fight with each other in the middle of the night if we don't keep them separated. And mm-hmm. uh, my wife's waking up, and I'm like, w- w- "Where's the Jack Russell?" She's like, "I don't know." <laughs> and I'm like. Oh, God damn it. I didn't see her go out with the fuck another dog. Did I fuck up and not see her? And I'm freaking out thinking I left her outside because, you know, it's temperature change. Like you said, it's going from 70 to 20 degrees. And I'm like, oh, yeah. Jesus. You, you, she's the happiest dog in the world. You would hear her from the next neighborhood over if she were outside for five minutes. But uh, so I'm waking out. I'm going downstairs. I'm turning on lights. I'm yelling, hello, where you at? No, she was in the fucking closet. <laughs> hiding my uh oh, shit my uh cat that i used to have uh when i had my old apartment uh she hid in the closet because i had it up like a shelf up top that i didn't even realize i had because it led into the attic and uh, i never used it because it wasn't a storage attic it was just for it was an apartment so it was for the you know maintenance people and um she was up on that shelf i didn't realize it so i didn't know where the hell she was and I had a roommate, and my roommate thought that she let the cat out by mistake, and she was afraid I was going to throw her ass out on the street. <laughs> so, like, I messaged my girlfriend at work. I was like, Whoa, where's the fucking cat? She's like, I don't know. She's like, D- maybe uh, our roommate let her out, and, like, they worked together. So she told the roommate, my roommate's like, oh, fuck. <laughs> He's going to evict me. Because <laughs> she was staying rent-free, by the way. She, this was... Uh, I had a lot of uh, everyone would call them squatters. <laughs> this was her. Uh, her and her husband split up, so she had nowhere to stay. So she slept on our couch for like a month, whatever. And um, I didn't care because you know it was a townhouse, so we had plenty of room. And uh, she, for like a couple hours, she thought that you know the cat was gone. I was going to have her out on the street, and uh, I'm driving around the neighborhood slowly, going kitty kitty, and I'm freaking out and. I found a black cat that I thought was mine until he sat up and looked at me like, the fuck do you want? <laughs> I was like, oh. so you're, you're not my cat. Okay. And I went home and I'm like, oh, God, I don't know what the fuck happened. And she comes out. Meow, and I'm like, where the fuck were you? <laughs> and I had to follow her the next day. Like, she went up into there and it hid behind some clothes that I didn't even realize it was a hiding spot. So... Yeah, that, I couldn't stand that with children. Um, but uh, anyway, but thank you for the compliment. Uh, I saw a meme today that actually uh, made me think about it. Did you ever see that picture of the two kids in the living room that somehow got into a can of paint? And there's paint all over the floor, all over the kids, and on the TV? No, I haven't seen that. That sounds interesting. Though. And, and And the caption is, See, this wouldn't be funny, but they ain't my kids, and that ain't my house. (laughs) (laughs) 
Right. Um, but yeah, I, we don't mean any disrespect, uh, to this, to this dead person here. Oh, so, no, no, no. He's, he, you just see father three. three. Right? Isn't that no, what I didn't see that. It was, I didn't see that. Yeah, it says he's 35 and, uh, it was like the very first thing. It's, um, father at three. I think it said. Oh. Let me go back to the article. Where the hell the there he is. Uh yeah, I don't know if I, he was thirty five and a father of three. The very first line says he father yeah, three. Yeah. So he must not have had custody or he does this not at home, I guess. Right. But uh, yeah, I don't know. Um uh, yeah. if I was gone if I was dead, I think my my wife would notice. Yeah. But you know, I'd hope. I would hope too. Okay, here's, uh, here's here's the image I was talking about. Yeah. This is this is why I'm glad I don't have children. <laughs> uh, and the one's like, yeah, we did. Look at what we did. <laughs> the other one looks like he was eating it. Uh, see, for some reason, I I I thought. I was thinking it was like blue paint or something. No, it was white. Color blue in my mind. They have a glass table that apparently didn't break in a, in a, in a CTR TV or CRT TV. Yeah. But oh, man, um, sorry. Our, our hearts go out to the family of this poor streamer. Uh, even though we're making light and joking, uh, this is a really sad thing. I, I it, Issues like depression, anxiety, uh, stemming from pressure... I don't know. I mean, this looks like this last part of the article is like them trying to say uh, that he was uh, stressed out and he wasn't in a good state. So are they saying it was like something happened? I don't know. I don't even know like what they were saying. Well, uh, right after I the guess... chat there. Yeah. Yeah, while playing video games for extended periods of time, blah, 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 strenuous activity, take a toll. I mean, he's doing, he was doing what he liked. I mean, it's, he enjoyed it. I, <sighs> well, I, I just, I, they're still investigating it, so I guess they're not sh sure yeah, they don't they want to have any kind much. of autopsy. Yeah. I mean, if it, when did this happen? Um,. Story came out on Tuesday. Oh, uh, 22 hours. I uh, just says the time. Well, whatever our, our condolences and best wishes for the family. We, uh, losing yeah. a loved one is never a good thing. It's never an easy thing. And, uh, his his uh, side endeavors, you know, uh, are in line with our own interests. So it's like losing a brother in arms, basically. Right. So, right. So uh, well, not really brother in arms because uh, neither of us are really streaming any video games. No, but I mean, we both sit up and play video games for a long stretch of time. Uh, I yeah. I've, Ben and I played Minecraft for you know I've got. More, I've got probably more hours in Minecraft than I have in Fallout, and I've got almost yeah. two hundred in Fallout. <laughs> I, I, I was sort of just jabbing at you to try to nudge you to try to maybe start up that back up again. Well, now that I have a faster internet, I wanna I wanna wait until I get things to where I'm more capable. Like I've, I've got to re I got to move everything around anyway. Uh, I plus switching to the new hard drive. I'd have to. I have to uh, redo my server. Right, the the actual you know was a virtual drive or whatever is still installed because it's on my game storage drive. But I don't have the uh, software to run it on this drive. So you know, what I mean, it's like you still have the uh, VMware software on another drive. Like you're if you make a Windows VMware where anyway. I have it. It's just not active. 
we were having troubles anyway. Ben, ben could get on at first. He was having issues. And then last time we tried it, it seemed to work. But then he gets mad because he's like, well, God damn it, I came to play. We, you, you, I just logged in. By the way, did you see that the Aces board that's supposed to be a Raspberry Pi killer? Yeah, I saw that, and uh, it's uh, pretty cool. Well, it doesn't seem to have as many features as like it really should to be a killer. It's well, more it's, like a spec wise, it's, it's supposed to be more powerful. I guess that's why they're saying that. But I, yeah, I don't know feature wise. Yeah, it's 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 comparable, but it's not. Like well, they're not offering more for the price. For what you're getting, you could just get the higher end Pi, basically. Right. Uh, I actually I was reading about that because I don't. <clears throat> I still haven't bought another device for uh, our TV. I want to. I was thinking about maybe a Windows 10 uh, stick or something to have a a more future proof device for our TV. Uh, because I I bought it, I, you know, I had the Ouya because it was going to be like my Android box solution, but then Cody stopped being supported for that version of Android. Well, what the fuck do you do? So I'm trying to find one that will work. And I thought about a Pi, but then I didn't know how upgradable they are. Yeah. Um, Frank wants his slice of the pie, huh? Um. Yeah, the Tinker board is what you're talking about, right? Yeah, the Asus Tinker hey, board. Asus. We, got, we got to call it Asus. I know you like the Tinker. I, well, like, uh, you know, I looked at it, uh, but uh, um, I looked at it, I first saw it on Reddit when I was looking for news articles, and um, there's a big discussion on there because you see all the comments and people are like, well, yeah, it's cool, but it's not as feature rich enough to be, you know. Um, I'd have to actually do a side by side comparison because it's not like it's a gaming computer with, you know, an entire video's worth of comparison. There's literally right. the board's the size of a fucking credit card. Yeah. So, um, but there's, you know, entire articles on just that. The other thing uh, that's kind of. Uh, that I would be worried about is that it doesn't have any internal uh, what, memory or anything like that for storage. Well, you put a it, you can put an SSD in it, right? I mean, well, you mean a a, a micro SD card? Well, yeah, that's what I meant. You yeah. can put a fucking card in. It. What the hell? Hold on, something's playing and I can't hear you. Okay. I mean, it's got a different uh, chipset. Boy, they made it bright green, didn't they? Yeah. Well, like the, the all of the like the the chipset and the GPU and stuff in it, it's it was supposed to be like one generation higher than what the Raspberry Hi Pi did, uh, and like it had like one more gigabyte of RAM or whatever. So yeah, yeah, the, that was another thing. The Pi didn't have a whole lot of RAM, so that was one of the upsides to it. Yeah, like I I feel it could have a lot of potential though because of the better. Uh, hardware in it. It's just, yeah, I don't know, like what, why they didn't put as many features into it. I guess. Hmm. I mean, the whole that the the Pi and the and the Tinker board, those are really what the Ouya was uh, tar marketed as for their target target audience when they came out. It said, "Oh, for hackers and tinkerers," and really, the Ouya wasn't. The Ouya was more for people who want to have a couple of emulators. And at the time, you couldn't buy an NES, whatever. Granted, the the mini NES is like sixty bucks. The Ouya was a hundred. So for a hundred, you could play up to six N sixty four and PlayStation games. So you would you you could have that running on a home you know TV without a whole lot of effort. You know you wouldn't have to sideload. You could just get the games from the store and all that, which is cool. Uh, the the Newer the pies and uh, the tinker board are actually things where you can install and modify and solder and like did you, the I've seen guys running their RGB lights off of uh, pies so that they can play to music and stuff. Uh, yeah. oh, I actually that, saw a guy uh, did one, <clears throat> huh? Yeah, that was the one thing that was. I saw the guy that was doing a review on it. He was saying that was supposed to be one of the biggest. 
like the best thing about the tinkerboard was like the several pin things that it has on it for you to uh do like those kind of uh you know like tinkering around with like i i don't know like what like how you hook things up like the the leds or whatever but it had like the i think it was like a 24 pin thing for you to be able to do like data type transfer or be able to run like servos and stuff off of it you know yeah i know the the pi arduino the pi had a a a pin section just for like if you want to put a camera on it or something i don't know what you would i i never tinkered with it to do that but uh I mean, it, it's an interesting thing, uh, but it's not not game changing because when the Pi came out, there was also uh, the was it uh, the Beagle Bone Board or some shit? I can't remember what the hell that stupid thing was called. Uh, there's uh, there are competitors at the time that are trying to get into the cheap market. The the Pi uh, Zero that's a five dollar, you know, half the size of a credit card board, which can't do a lot, but it can for five bucks. So right. that's that's did, kind of a game changer. They did say it was compa- the Tinkerboard was compatible with the the uh, the Pi's case or whatever. Like if you three D print that out or something, you know. Oh, well, that's right. The Beagle Bone Black. That's what the fucking thing was. I'm thinking of. It's a uh, a similar thing to the Pi. Uh, I looked at that. Um, they're more expensive. One gigahertz A arm, uh, one gigahertz ARM Cortex A8. So, not a dissimilar thing. There's other stuff out there. Uh, we're nerds. We enjoy getting our hands dirty from time to time. Uh, but we're also fucking lazy. <laughs> <laughs> that yeah. that's the that's the main issue. Um, for <laughs> on for, for those of you who might be interested, which I don't know if any of you are. Uh, here's the. Beagle Bone Black, uh, a Beagle Board Black, sorry. Beagle Bone um, Black, I don't know. Anyway. What well, did, is it, are, is the Raspberry Pi in the, this, you know, the Tinker Board and this type of thing, is this, do uh, you think that's like competitive, like with the Windows, Windows PC sticks and the other well, things you put uh, on your TV? Yes, yes because... The Windows sticks, a lot of them are from China, and they'll run. They run on the Atom processors. Uh, and if it's something that you're just hooking up to your TV, a lot of them are the lower end. Uh, not even they don't even run Windows. They'll be either uh, like a version of Linux or Android. Hmm. Um, I mean, any of those devices, a Linux uh, distro, uh, Android, or full on Windows. Uh, these little machines are, are you know, uh, more than sufficient. If it's just Nana checking her emails or an average average user um, getting on their computer, just tinkering around, you know, uh, not tinkering, fucking around on the you know internet or YouTube. Like my wife, that's the reason we didn't have high speed internet because she didn't need it. We didn't. Granted, we had Netflix, but we weren't doing a lot. Of, we weren't doing this and Netflix at the same time, and. A normal person can get by with, you know, a little bit of horsepower, which is a $5 machine. There's guys on YouTube, uh, I think it was Anthrop or whatever the hell the guy's name was, a guy I follow. He, uh, he, he has a regular Linux machine that's got the next big brother to my uh, uh, CPU, the 95 whatever, which is basically the same CPU I've got except uh, at a higher clock speed from the factory. Uh, I got the A350. He's got that next one up. You know which one I'm talking about. Um, he's got that as his main rig, uh, running some version of Linux. And then he said, you know, as an experiment, I'm going to try a Pi as a, a workstation for daily use for a week. And he <coughs> got one and he hooked it up. And he said, yes, you can get by and use it. Because especially if you're doing Linux, you're not doing anything really grunt heavy. You know? Yeah. Um, so... Yeah. <clears throat> it's Unix based, so I mean that's what you know. Is is that what the uh, he's a reviewer of the the uh, tanker board? He he showed on the video. He downloaded the thing from the OS from the Asus that was, was like the default thing that was meant for it, which was the date 
Debian or something? OS? Oh, Debian? Debian. Yeah, is that like a Linux-based type thing or yes. something? Or is... uh, yes. Um, Debian is a... Uh, I think it's a Linux OS. Uh, well, I don't want to uh, ramble on on. Uh, Debian operating system... Free OS for computer, uh, da, 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 pure OS. Yeah, it's 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 an OS. Uh, I don't I'm not I don't know enough about Linux distros. I apologize to the to the real hardcore nerds that will look at me like, well, you fucker, <laughs> get your facts straight. I don't know enough. I know the the main people the, the main people out there. If you gave most people out there who have a Mac, if you gave them an Ubuntu setup. They probably wouldn't notice the fucking difference. They right. really would. Um, whereas I'm not, a, I don't know like Arch and all these other ones, like they're, you know, the people that make their own kernels and shit. I don't know enough. I can't really know all the different flavors because Android technically is a fork of Linux, right? Uh, that's interesting. I, I haven't thought. I haven't thought about it like that. I mean, it's based off of the same thing, I thought. And then hmm. then I recently read about, uh, I have a couple older computers. I got an old e-machine and a Dell just sitting in a closet. I thought about turning them into something. Uh, it, and I read articles for, uh, it, like, if you have an XP machine, what the fuck do you do with it? Some guys are like, well, I install Remix OS, which is Android, but somebody took it and they forked it. They they twerk they, they they changed it so that it can be an operating system for a desktop uh, environment but it's still rooted in Android uh, kind of like yeah. kind of like um, when you get a hackintosh it's still the Mac OS you know OS but it's still it's a you know somebody took it and well they say fork they didn't port it and take it straight from its native you know habitat they changed it so it's the same thing but they're like uh plex versus or not plex uh like uh xbmc at the time versus boxy boxy was a fork of uh xbmc which is now cody it's that's why they're so similar it is the same software it's just one person took it and focused it and added their own things same with plex plex is a fork of cody but yeah. but but not totally dissimilar but anyway uh, I see that this uh, this type of thing. I think it would be interesting to dick around with that that Cody OS uh, because I, I know you said you didn't you might not want like a whole Cody OS for like your your media things for your like a whole custom computer. But I mean, this well, type of little thing might be decent for that. You know? Yeah, it's 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 a matter of are you fucking happy yet? <laughs> you know, it's like. My, well, the way my wife looks at everything I do here in this, you know, computers and shit, it's like, are you, you know, you're never satisfied. You always want bigger and better. I'm like, well, yeah, if I'm putting my money into it, I want the best out there because I don't want to buy it again in six months when I'm tired of it. Like, my main reason for not doing a Cody or XBMC OS mainly is because it's limited. Once you're done with that, you have to either take the SD card out or micro SD or whatever and put a different one in, or you have to, you know, uh, completely uh, format uh, a partition and dual boot, basically. Um, or right. you could just run an operating system with Kodi as an app. I understand it uses more resources, but you're buying the fucking thing. <laughs> yeah. You know, it, I understand. I understand getting cheap because you know a Pi board is going to be cheaper than a, like an Asus motherboard or something full blown. But you know, might as well have something that can run it and then just have it so you can do other things in the background. The ability to multitask. I, like I said yeah. I'm not a multitasker in general, but in the event that in the event that there's something that I can't view on Cody, I can if I have a Windows, you know. Uh, operating system or something, I can install uh, uh, third-party software to let me, you know, view antenna shit so I don't have to switch the TV over to antenna and hope I can get a channel. I can just, you know, use a, a, a tuning app or whatever. Um, 
you know, other stuff. Because that's part of the yeah. that's part of the problem with being a core cutter, which is uh, you have to go online and find out what you can stream and what you can't. Uh, you can you know certain stuff isn't supported on certain formats like Netflix on uh, Kodi. If you have Android, forget about it. Unless it's unless it's the uh, uh, the uh, the Fire Stick or whatever, then you can put Netflix on it because Netflix is supported through that natively. Most uh, Android sticks don't support uh, Netflix natively. I think. Really? Hmm. Well, it it sees it as a separate. It's it's a, it, it, if you sideload it as a separate app, then it's not it's not within Kodi. It's 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 its own app, so you can right. launch Kodi and then you can go back and forth between Kodi and Netflix, but you can't sit and open it in Netflix versus or open it in Kodi. Whereas you know with a Windows PC, it's all seamless, and that's kind of what the fuck I want. So yeah, well, what I th- think a lot of people don't understand about. Us, us tinkerers you don't get us man <laughs> yeah um, nerds uh it's it's like people who are into modifying cars like jay or whatever you're you're never you're never going to be happy with it you're it's always something to work on you know it's always something to tinker around with and you know like right. all you always want to get the best and the most custom for you mm-hmm. know you, you really want to make it your your baby pretty much yeah it's you know if you're wasting your time and your energy in it, you don't want to, you know, uh, you don't yes. want to be at it all the time. But <laughs> there's <laughs> always the latest and greatest, you know, thing. Uh, it's, you know, are, is it done yet? Well, no, because this new thing's out. We're enthusiasts. We're enthusiastic about stupid shit that doesn't matter to anybody else. I, it's. When I was cleaning up my uh, guest room today, I spent a good portion of my day figuring out where the fuck to put all of my hot rod magazines because that's one of my other passions and hobbies and interest. I have spreadsheets made up to keep track of all the magazines I own and catalog them and bag and board them and shit like that, like the comic book guys, you know. And that ate up so much of my time, but it's one of my other interests that I've got to, you know, make room for in this house <laughs> yeah but uh anyway. anyways we got really <laughs> sidetracked uh imagine let's that. <laughs> uh let's move on from this dead guy and talk about the next dead guy oh another <laughs> one god damn it <laughs> you're not allowed to pick our articles anymore all you do is sadness <laughs> all you do is bring us down uh <laughs> jesus uh Russian man convicted of murder after killing friend over AMD versus NVIDIA argument. Yeah. Yep. It's come down to this, folks. It's come to this. Well, is this like the uh, guy, uh, your girlfriend kills a uh, lover because uh, uh, she he was taking away her time from her uh, Farmville uh, farm or some shit like that? No, this is a more, it's an actual AMD versus NVIDIA, like, what, who's better argument. Okay. Yeah, it's come to this. That's why I said it's come to this. Um, recently, it sounds to nine and a half years uh, for GPU, GPU-related uh, stabbing. Did they stab him with the GPU? That would hurt. I mean, it's edgy looking. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, Everyone seems to want wants to de- vehemently defend the brand they've uh, bought into, even though it's usually a very silly argument. Just pick who you start debating with very carefully. According to Stolica S.SU, with the translation from uh, Fraguro, Fraguro, Fra- or Fraguro, uh, last year, a 37-year-old Russian man Alexander uh, Trof- Trofimov, Trofimov murdered his friend. Uh, oh shit! <laughs> Ev- his friend Evgeny Evgeny uh, Lylan during an argument over the two major graphics cards makers, AMD and Nvidia. The pair reportedly used to work together in software development. 
and met up for drinks while drunk. The two started disagreeing over whether AMD or NVIDIA GPUs had better coolers, and things took a turn for the worse soon after Trofimov uh, stabbed Lylan to death, and he was arrested three days later. Uh, yeah, it's a horrific story, and sadly one day have could have been avoided with a bit of research. Our list of best uh, graphics cards clearly states that NVIDIA is on the top right now, although with NVIDIA's Vega just around the corner, the landscape could be set to shift again. And if you feel heated about either of these statements, for heaven's sake, keep the arguments confined to common threads. Uh, now they're making light of it. Okay, so let me, let me see. Uh, according to By24, Trovamov was recently sentenced after confessing to the crime and will serve nine and a half years in prison for the murder. He is an NVIDIA fan, however, so uh, might be out a little faster. <laughs> this article is kind of messed up, man. Yeah, it's a little, NVIDIA, uh, a little one-sided there. I guess in video one, huh? <laughs> and the AMD crazy. user is still seeing red because he's all bloody. Uh, oh, God. oh, dude. God damn it. <laughs> well, I, I love how the article just like they st start their continue with, oh, yeah, well, uh, as a matter of fact, NVIDIA is, is kind of on the top right now, by the way. <laughs> is it because cause they're Russian that they don't give a fuck about? Uh, like, if this was like two dudes in San Francisco, it'd be like, oh my God, it's horrible. But since they're Russian. Well, I mean, is that, the, is that it? Is that why? I, d I don't know. It's, it's horrible. This is. Where's this article from? PCGamer.com. Well, there you yeah. go. I, well, I originally got I originally got the idea from the no, so they're the original well, people uh, that I found uh, it from. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, I mean, like it, it's it was this is inevitable. This was you knew this was going to happen one day because really? I mean it's it's Fan gotten so gonna, fanboys were going to duke it out and kill each other. <laughs> I mean. If it's gotten so bad, you know. A Apple versus Microsoft fanboys can't do it because even the fucking Microsoft fanboys are like, yeah, they're fucking evil, I know. And and even the Apple guys are like, yeah, they're fucking evil and overpriced, I know. <laughs> so. Yeah. yeah. This uh, is horrible. Well. I'm offended at myself. <laughs> Uh, well, since he was, uh, I guess we have to be sad since the AMD guy lost. No, no, no. He died, you know. No, you, no, because the Intel guy, or not the Intel, the other guy cheated. <laughs> so, uh. You see, they should have done, uh. They should have done 50 paces or 50 benchmarks. Uh, here we go. Okay, so on to your next begrudging story. <laughs> um, well, th this one I, I got I got in it in an email, so I and I thought it was interesting. I've I oh, have no, a, no, don't send them your money. I don't care if they say they're a Nigerian prince. <laughs> but they told me they would pay me back. Hey, buddy, buddy, look. I'll make your penis fatter. <laughs> um, I just thought this was interesting. Uh, also, it, Corporation is a, a, a very high, highly specialized paint company that does like crazy effects like chrome paints and like color changing paints and stuff like that and uh i get an email from them about a new uh it's called killer kinetic chrome it's a uh, uh like a five color changing uh 
color paint that's over a chrome base so it pretty much looks like the the kind of color shifts that you, you would see with the reflections and like sunglasses and stuff and i do have a youtube video here um uh, we're gonna get pulled see. demonetized well, at least you get to, i just wanted to show the the effect here we're gonna be flagged now great <laughs> Nick, would you guys pull this up later? There's going to be a blur. Yeah. We're out of shot for this. But, I mean, I, I think it's cool, and I thought you, you might be interested in it because you're a paint guy, too, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Chrome is one of those tricky things to get. You can fake it until you get it right next to the real thing, and you go, yeah, it's fake. Right. It's a... Uh, I mean, it's awesome, but. Mm. Um, well, the problem is, is you, you really can't get that type of stuff. You're never really going to be able to get any of that type of high quality finish with any kind of spray cans or something, rattle cans. No, you're not going to get a professional actual, and, it, and that won't last either is, what is the problem. I mean, I, <clears throat> I mean, it looks cool, but. Yeah, I just thought I'd throw that out there. It's, I mean, it's I, quick I, enjoy article. It. I mean, it, 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 a really, 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 really good chrome paint will come one day, one day. Yeah. But, uh, well, they, I, they do have their chrome paint in spray cans, but uh, uh, I think the the their chrome effect comes out the best with yeah, like their uh, airbrush, you know, like the compressor. Mm -hmm. you know, like the spray booth kind of f paints that they have, you know. Right. So, um, yeah. they. What's cool, I saw a YouTube video of their paint, and they were spraying on. Uh, they, it looked like a really dull silver at first, and then they mm -hmm. used this other uh, chemical that they sprayed on top of it that looked like water. And as they yeah. were spraying this water-like chemical mm -hmm. over it, it just started turning chrome. It was It was pretty cool. Yes, yes, I, and like it looks like you're just pouring water on it, and it's becoming chrome. I've seen that. My uh, yeah. there's also a, a paint that modelers use when they're making uh, model cars to make it look like chrome, and it's like a paste. It's not even really a paint. It's kind of crazy. Right. <clears throat> it's probably it's got actual pieces of metal in it. I don't know if it's chrome or not, but right. I I have no idea, but. Uh... It's it's cool stuff. I I'd like because I was thinking like once I once I'm able to save up for a 3D printer like and I start doing 3D printed stuff, uh, it'd be cool to get some kind of chrome types like uh, effects or paint on it. But uh, you know like that that would get to be expensive if you go to like if you always have to go to like a chrome shop to get your stuff plated all the time. Yes. Uh, like, in and in my other hobby of uh, hot riding and custom cars, uh, chrome plating is common in uh, m more so the custom uh, field than uh, hot riding because customizing, you take something you already have and you tweak it to make it yours. And a lot of guys in the 50s uh, would, would uh, you couldn't buy aftermarket parts for a lot of stuff because at the time it wasn't a big scene. Like today, I could go into the parts store and buy all kinds of crap. And, you know, it's all made in China, cheap Chinese wear. But versus if you were, you know, making a custom car in the 50s, uh, you had to take a part off of the car. And then to make it look different, you send it off to a guy, he chrome plated it, and then you put it back on. And so you'd open the, in, you know, the hood and the engine bay of the old car would be all chrome. And, like, I've seen guys now that are building uh, clones of previously big, famous custom cars back in the day because... Their, the originals are either gone or rotted or in a storage area somewhere that never to be seen. So they take one and they make it themselves. And in doing that, it, the main expense is a lot of the chrome plating. Uh, the last guy I read a whole uh, read on, uh, a whole article on a, a Jalopy Journal, which is my favorite car site for that kind of stuff. Uh, there's a guy he detailed his building of a car that is an exact one on one to one clone of another car that was built in the early 50s and um 
in that he talks about uh he decided to paint hey ben Ben, can you hear us? Yes. Okay. Yes. Yeah. He decided to paint his uh, the windows on the inside of the, the sills instead of chrome playing them to save money. And he regretted doing it later because it was the only thing you could tell that he had cheaped out on. So. Right. But uh, th that's, that's a pretty cool yeah. little article there. Yeah, I was just showing up. Frank, this, uh, this company, did, this paint company also does a... A specialty uh, paint that's uh, a five-color chameleon color that's over a chrome base, so it it looks like a, you know, like a lot of the sunglasses that you see. Oh, the Michael J. <clears throat> the Michael J. Fox hat. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but it's like it's more of like it's a lot more shiny though. <laughs> um. Yeah, like me and Nate were talking about uh, looking into like. Get, looking at like those home plating kits or doing like DIY plating and stuff. Uh, and very caustic, uh, uh, <clears throat> dangerous. Yeah, it I, is I dangerous. But we, we were, uh, we were talking about maybe we could skip a step because by using conduct conductive 3d printing filament, because like the first step you got to play it or plate it or whatever I had died. I, I'm not, or whatever you call it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you, you have the, you pretty much make it conductive, uh, so that like the chrome particles could adhere to it in the solution or whatever, right? Isn't that mm -hmm. pretty much what it does? X kind of yeah. like a battery or some shit. I don't, uh, I'm not <laughs> sure. <laughs> um, and if you have a they conductive filament, kids. then it should be able to adhere to it. They used to sell kits in the backs of magazines along with fucking, uh, you know, when you buy, uh, what is it, uh, uh, sea monkeys and all that. But they're like, at home, copper and chrome plating. The problem is, it's very caustic and you will die. But, you know, people bought it and they did it. Uh, I think well, I you're dealing you, with acids pretty much, right? <laughs> yeah, and like car batteries basically hooked up to buckets of acid. Yeah, I, sh I showed you that video section of the guy who chrome plated parts for his motorcycle, right? Yeah. The problem with chrome plating is uh, it's just like automotive uh, finishing. It's all about the prep work because the one guy is like, well, I thought the chrome would cover it so it looked like shit because he didn't sand it down and grind it and get it fully flush and smooth. And then when he chromed it, all it did was show those pivots and dick, yeah. you know, dings and shit. Ding. So. So um, Ben, welcome back. Did you have to reboot your machine? Yeah, and then I had to wait I'm sorry. for everything to stop running all sluggish. Chrome is I, still being a fussy little pain in the butt. I, I sorry, to, I uh, I, I think it's because I, I I joked around and said that you were gonna have to restart. You're like, I'm not gonna do that, and then you had to. Well, it's okay because right. we we only got through two articles. That's okay. Or, Doug actually, was this is ten thirty when you guys are like through your first three articles. Okay, hey Ian. Just to, yeah. just to, just to corroborate Ben's story here, but I pronounce corroborate. Right? Okay, just to just to share Ben's story here. You remember back? Oh, Jesus, what was that? Uh, when we first, before I got a high speed internet, and we were talking about, you know, oh, I want to use Skype or Discord instead of whatever I was using, and you're like, no, why, why switch to something different? Blah blah blah. Yeah. Um. Let me let me show you what uh, I said. Well, Chrome's a resource hub. Grand, I love Chrome because I'm a Google. I'm in the Google environment. I love having a, I can search on one machine and find my searches on the other machine. It's great. You just don't want Google to rain down their fire upon you, is what you're afraid of, right? Well, the thing don't is, don't smoke me, please, Google. Please don't smoke me. The the problem is, where that here it is. The problem is, look at this. This is my task manager window here. Can you see this, or is it all fucked up? It's all black. It's, oh, uh, yeah, I have I have yeah. that same problem okay. on uh, OS X. It just fills up with background Google helpers. And yeah, look, it look how many instances of Chrome. Shit. Look at that. Yeah, I've, I've done <laughs> the same thing. It's Chrome, it's Chrome helper on OS X, but it's basically the same thing, where you have if you leave Google Chrome open for too long, it will eat up all your resources. For no reason. 
Yes. No, you don't have yes. You could have a just at having it open. I've and, had yeah, it this is the with with Firefox <clears throat> once in a while. So well, this, is the, this is the this is the 64 of, bit. I was reading a a, a a post about different browsers because you remember back in the day when Firefox came out and everybody got that, and then Chrome came out and everybody got on that. And it's like, 70% of people use Chrome, because if they're on Google anyway, you know. And then if you use a mobile device, you you either use Safari or you use Edge or whatever, you know, whatever you want to call uh, Microsoft's thing, because, you know, proprietary browser. But still, it's like, nobody, you know, Camino just, just went under. There's not a lot of good competition for, you know, to beat Safari or Chrome anymore. It's... No, you got to get the Nets, the Netscape, uh, right? Wasn't that what it was? Netscape was back in the day. That was the thing. No, that that one hasn't um, been supported in a while either. Or Opera Mini. A lot of things go. This is not Opera, supported on many browsers like Opera. Well, Opera is still around. It's just it's you know a very open browser where you can do whatever you want to it. And nobody really. Does. Some I, I can't remember what it was. I think it was Nintendo. Uh, when you pull up uh, Netflix or something, it uses Opera. Or no, it was it was that the browser was that that was the Wii that had the, that had I think it had a version of of Opera and uh, I, I I loaded up Vivaldi recently because I was trying to find an alternative to Chrome and it lets you I think it lets you install Chrome plugins so I'm not sure I might <clears throat> apparently I Chromium is the Linux version of Chrome that has all the Google stuff well, stripped out I also well I used to use Chromium because for a long time they didn't have the Mac version of it but you're just like well of course I want Chrome I mean the, it's like, Firefox oh. is good, but it has to load everything. Chrome is fast, but it's also kind of buggy. <laughs> so. Well, like, I have, uh, uh, I only have Firefox because I have one website that won't load. It's made for Internet Explorer, who, not Edge, Internet Explorer, I think, that I, I have to log into when I report off of work. And yeah, you sound I, like Mom. She was like, I gotta check this thing, and it doesn't, it only works. I had to get up, boot up the XP laptop. Yeah, so yeah. like I tried it on Chrome and it's like, oh, sorry, we couldn't. Your uh, uh, this is not supported, and I'm like, it's just a fucking website. Whereas I install Firefox and I go to the website, and it goes here it is. So that's the only well, thing that's. I don't want to support Firefox because they're what, weren't they like anti-gay at one point or something. I don't know. So I don't know. Uh, oh, and, and then, uh, when we were talking earlier about a Pi, and I said there was a guy who did it uh, as a workstation. And I, I actually watched his little series. This guy, I kind of like. I kind of think it's interesting. Uh, here's the video of the guy. If you want to check name, it out later, Frank, so... okay. his user name is Anthrit. A N T H I R I T. Anthrax. Uh, yeah, Affleck. Um, he uh, he reviews mostly Linux stuff. Uh, he has a, a rig similar to mine, actually, that he just runs straight Linux on, which is retarded overpowered i mean I, unless i don't know he does he does a different kind of work i guess but uh mm. well, but you know and frank did you want to fill ben in on our last uh bright sun shiny articles okay here, they, here, here. Uh, <laughs> that's that's all for, uh, uh, one guy uh was streaming uh on twitch for 24 hours and in 22 hours he went out to have a smoke and he's dead yeah, and so it, was a, first, it was a charity live stream. Yeah, so, yeah. And then the, the next article, two Russian guys were fighting over AMD versus NVIDIA, and one of them's dead. Guess which, so, guess which uh, GPU won? NVIDIA. It was NVIDIA. Yeah. They cheated. NVIDIA guy kill, killed AMD. Okay, so go, cheated, on the, was... go on with the next depressing story. You sad fucking... Sad man. Uh, Here comes the sads. The sads. Oh, okay. So yeah, here's here's some good GPU news here. Fuck yeah. AMD Ryzen release date specifications and features. Three CPUs from the Ryzen seven uh, range now available to pre order. Uh. And th- I'll, I'll, instead of just reading through the article, I'll just. Uh, Try yeah, there's numbers and shit in there. It's too much. The numbers here. <laughs> okay, so the the Ryzen 7 1800X is like the top tier one, which is has a base clock of 3.6 and a boost clock of uh, 4 gigahertz. Uh, TDP watts is 95. 
Uh, and the suggested price is going to be four ninety nine, which is a little bit pricey. I I think, but uh, I guess a lot. Of Jer- Jay was saying that that's was a uh, pretty good price. So I don't know for a. Uh... For that kind, of, for that's the higher tier. Yeah. Hmm. Um, so they're the, is that their low end? The, that's the, the three twenty nine. Oh yeah. The oh, no, I'm saying the three, yeah. That's currently now yeah. they're uh, now they're going to announce lower tier ones, right? I mean, like. I I don't know, man. I mean, I thought it was. I thought they might include like a six core because this is eight core, right? Yeah, these are all all three of them are eight core. Um, the mid one isn't too bad. If you really want to get into the discussion, three ninety nine. If you really want to get into the discussion, uh, go to the subreddit uh, AMD. There's fanboys shitting themselves right now because I'm I try to get on to read a uh, GPU uh, release leaks, and they're like, "Oh my God, Ryzen CPU," and that's all you see. So. They will provide more links and shit than we have here. <laughs> this is just worth Ooh. salivating over again. Uh, these are interesting. Crossfire and SLI will uh, be only available on X370 board motherboards. Um, okay. All of them can be overclocked. Uh, and But overclocking is only su- supported on motherboards of X370, 300, and B350 chipsets, which I've... No clue what that means. Um, motherboards will support plenty of the latest features, including NVMe and DDR4 mm-hmm. RAM. Mm-hmm. But uh, yeah, the, so I guess those are the new newer chipsets. I guess with the that are going to be on the now the wait, is that like the North go, Bridge or something. I don't know. Go back up to that uh, uh, chart real quick that you were just looking at. Yeah. No. No. Yeah. 370. Okay, that's not on here. Okay. Hmm. So the overclocking is on the 370, 300, and. Uh, but you can only run SLI on the 370. Yeah. So the higher like, end is the only one you can run SLI and Crossfire. Well, is that like the Northbridge chipsets? You know, you have like the like a Northbridge that's like a chipset that's separate from the CPU on the motherboard or whatever. I have no idea. Um, because I thought the like all of these are supposed to be AM4 well, uh, processors mm-hmm. or whatever, right? Mm-hmm. So I, I have no idea what uh, these numbers for those types of motherboards mean. <laughs> mm. Don't know. Um, yeah, that's that's one thing I liked about the AMD too is like the. It, the compatibility was always a lot less confusing than with Intel, where they had like the you weren't sure what, which kind of processor is going to be like, uh, <clears throat> like with, right. what generation motherboard or something, you know. Mm-hmm. Whereas AMD, it was just AM3 or AM3 plus. Or yeah, if you buy you know? an i7, well, do you get the i7 something something K or the something something that yeah. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Um, um, my my new motherboard, by the way, uh, speaking of which, uh, I was putting all my boxes away. The newest motherboard box I have is smaller than the box my GPU came in. Fuck it insane. Uh, yeah. But, uh, so... Yeah, like the L- LGA, what was it, like the socket LGA 1370 or something? And that, it was just like weird numbers that didn't really, weren't like incremental or anything either, you know? <laughs> So it releases in March, huh? Yeah. So that oh boy, they're getting a little bit more. That's that's what I'm saying. It's going to take a while for uh, someone like me to save up for a $500 processor, and then you got to get the motherboard and <clears throat> well, you got to remember video card and stuff. You know, even if you buy the fucking thing, or even if you have the money to buy the fucking thing, Ian, I think it's going to yeah. be like the damn uh, Nintendo uh, NES uh, Mini or whatever. You're going to want it. This not gonna fucking be available. Motherfuckers are sitting there refreshing their thing, jerking off with one hand and refreshing with the other. This is <sighs> well. That's what Jay was saying. You shouldn't 
I mean, you could pre-order it now, I guess, but like I wouldn't. He was saying I wouldn't pre-order until like every everything's all like you know, like all the dust is cleared and stuff. You know. Well, like uh, the four eighty came out. How long ago did the four eighty come out? I have no clue. It wasn't that was long that, like, ago, last right? year. Yeah, I mean, and like now you can get. Granted, there's still there are people like, well, a four sixty is good enough, et cetera, et cetera. But it, it, you could get. You know, a 480 came out. It had a you know the base price, or you could get you know the fancier versions for you know about the same fucking price almost. I mean, and yeah. it's we've worked out which ones work well and which ones don't. Um, everyone's ordering these fucking things and pre-ordering. That's great, but you get it. This shit just came the fuck out. I I want to I want to wait till Jay or somebody gets it. They say this one's not that good. <laughs> Or get this one. That's why I went with the new motherboard I have because I saw reviews and they're like, I was I was thinking about getting a 970 uh, MSI gaming motherboard, and it turns out they're like, don't even waste your fucking time with the MSI one. Just get the uh, Asus one because it's better and cheaper. Uh, this is interesting. They're they're also going to be uh, releasing Ryzen APUs as well. Yes. I've never gotten a, a any kind of APU before, but. They uh, <clears throat> they uh, had them for a while, um, and they kind of went away because people were like the all Trinities. I mean, AMD I mean, Trinity it, APUs or whatever. Yeah, I mean, I guess it's if you spend all your money on a CPU, and if you don't do a lot of gaming, well, why buy another? You know. Well, they know. make sense for like server things where, like, if you actually need to, you know, like. If you need a display or something, at least you could just integrate uh, graphics. Yeah, that's another, that's something that AMD uh, CPUs have been missing. A lot of people are like, "Well, you can run it off integrated if you need something just to get by," but you know, yeah. Um, but I mean, it, oh, that was Doug who it, sent me that message. I thought that was Ben. What did Doug say? Uh, I'll probably be on in a while. I'm closing, so I'm not available till ten thirty at the earliest. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, we'll uh, definitely be on at ten thirty. <laughs> uh, I was gonna say, <laughs> I just think it's cool because you know, like AMD has been has always had the A cores, and mm-hmm. Intel kind of always try to compete with that by having uh, hyper threaded. Always the hyper threaded with four cores, but eight threads. And if you get now that AMD is going to be doing the the Hyper threading, uh, we're gonna get to see 16 threads, then you know, without having dual socket, right? Because you could buy a dual socket Intel board, but Intel's more like, nah, we're just gonna push one, you know, like Ben's uh board is for his uh Mac Pro, uh, Mac Pro is a dual socket. I was, I was actually watching yeah. a video today with the old uh, Tech Syndicate video now, Crit TV. Video where Wendell upgrades an old 09 uh, Mac Pro, and uh, he discusses how well you know now, like the trash can Mac Pros, just to have a single socket versus you know then you would have two theoretically probably you know six core sockets, so it's twelve cores total. Right now that now they're just running eight cores or whatever hyper threading all that shit. That's what I was telling my f- friend that I went to. AIP with um, Mike, he, he had two computers that he built uh, that had server motherboards on them that had uh, dual sockets for them. Um, I, I sold him my old AMD 8120 processor. They made a new custom build with. Mm-hmm. And he seemed to like that, so. Mm-hmm. that It was an A-core also. It was just a like a, I think it was like a 3.2. Huh. Usually, typically the Intel uh, chipsets are more geared towards the server side than the AMD because AMD, yeah. uh, it's, it has to do with the RAM supported. Uh, you have to have a server, if it's on for 24 hours a day, is more, uh, you're supposed to have uh, the air correcting RAM 
and you can't get that with a, a on an AMD chipset. Right. It's what, my understanding. But uh, anyway. Yeah, let's uh, get through my last article here, and then we'll be done with mine. And Frank only has a few articles, so that's not too bad. Oh, click on the same shit. Oh, and we we do you want me to? Uh, should I go through Ben before we do yours, Frank? I don't care. Okay. Oh. Cool. Woman we didn't see after, this coming. No, oh yeah, here's another upbeat article here. Woman after Jesus, I downy down loved my, my, <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Uh, I don't re- I don't think about these things when I look up the article. <laughs> I don't re I don't realize when I. This will put people <laughs> in a spiral sense. of sadness. You're <laughs> hey, a fucking we- factory of sadness, just like goddamn the Cleveland Browns stadium. <laughs> hey, uh, trying to keep the uh, faith alive, just like when we play Would You Rather games. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, let's hear this horrible, tragic story. Woman, after I, okay, I am on it. After I rebuffed my uh, Uber driver's advances, he tried to rape me. And then the sub headline is Uber has placed profits over safety by deliberately lowering bar- the bar for drivers. Uh, a woman in Minnesota has sued Uber, alleging that one of the company's drivers attempted to rape her in August of 2016, as is the case in other sexual assault lawsuits involving the ride-sharing company. The woman argues that Uber has been negligent in its hiring practices. The company, she claims, is not as safe as it reports. Jesus! Okay, I'm sorry to interrupt. That further reading, did you fucking see that? Uh, scroll up a little bit. Uh, oh, you mean the Uber has faced numerous similar legal no. battles? Well, no. Scroll up a little. Um, man, ch- don't back up. Man uh, claims Uber driver left him in a pool of blood after refusing trip. Jesus. Uh, oh, <laughs> Jesus. Well, that's, that's actually way worse. <laughs> I mean, granted, yes, a, a, a attempted rape is that fucking is. horrible. Even a even a failed attempt is still a horrible, horrible thing. But Jesus! So, how long until your Uber driver leaves you in a bathtub full of ice with no kidneys? Let's sell their kidneys on the black market. Thanks for ruining my joke, Frank. I was quoting a uh, the fake uh, Shaggy on uh, Jan Saw Bob Strike Back. God damn it! I hate this fucking chair. <laughs> uh, the Minnesota woman referred to as Jane Doe hailed and hey, Tarzan, Eugene. Uber with two of her friends to go to a Minneapolis bar. The driver who arrived to pick them up was a man identified as Abdel Jack is. Is that how you say that? Jack was. Well, uh, what what in the what would the J be pronounced? Ben is a Y, and what or For that what? name? Show, there. show me the name. I can't see it. Click things. Ian. It's not our fault. You can't click on the things. That is, yeah. Oh, Ab- Abdel Hakis. Hakadalugi. I'm sure we're all saying it wrong, but yes, somebody's out uh, there mad at us. Yes. Yeah. Well, well I'm mad at you. Anyway. I don't care if it's that guy. <laughs> yeah, you're an attempted rapist. Fuck you, guy. Yeah. According to the lawsuit, had a prior criminal record of a sexual crime against another woman, uh, which would have been uh, revealed by a detailed fingerprint-based background check of the type conducted regularly within the taxi industry. Jack is uh, allegedly drove the woman and her friends to one bar. He and Doe exchanged numbers so that when they were ready to leave the uh, brewery, they could take an Uber ride to their next destination. And but this was not a standard uh, procedure for Uber rides. Uh, the lawsuit uh, continues. Miss Doe and one friend rode to Jack as 
to the second bar, it was their understanding that Uber was continuing to charge them for the second ride via an Uber app. It was also their understanding that Jack has continued to act as an Uber employee on the clock and that his status during the second ride was no different than it had been during the first ride. Once the two women were dropped off at the second bar, they exited the car a few steps away from the car. Doe realized she had left her uh, phone plugged into the auxiliary cable in the car and went back to retrieve it. Driver then complimented and attempted to kiss her when she rebuffed him. Uh, Jack has allegedly began driving with Doe only partially in the car. He pulled over and began forcefully kissing and groping her. Eventually, the Jesus. woman managed to flee. She rejoined her friends and told them what had happened. And the lawsuit is unusually blunt and makes a point of saying that this negligence is, in fact, part of Uber's business model. Uber has placed profits over safety by deliberately lowering the bar for drivers in order to uh, rapidly expand its network of drivers and thus its profits, the civil complaint argues. This is a calculated decision by senior executives to allow Uber to dominate the emerging rideshare market at the expense of public safety. And obviously they, they're not responding for any comments. I mean, as soon as they announced Uber, I was going to go, well, I'm sure just getting civilians and letting them drive people around is a great idea. And to think they were thinking about having an Uber for kids. Oh, they're not thinking about it. They're probably fucking not doing it. <laughs> I mean, if, if this is this crazy for wrong. adults, how, how crazy so, is that going to be for kids? Uber is an interesting service. It's like, hey, it's like cab drivers, except it's just whoever you find on a mobile phone app. Yeah. I mean, what could possibly go wrong by pick, I mean, being picked up by strangers? I mean, and they might not even be them. It might just be some, you know, guy who thinks is acting like an Uber, but he's not affiliated with this at all. But that's fine. Don't let well, that deter you. They can only police people that sign up to a mobile app so, to, so far. I mean, it's not like, you know, a thing where you have to get licensed and registered and, and stuff. It's, you know, it's a side gig. Uh... This driver, two thumbs down, would not ride again. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, I'm not saying this hard, but I'm just saying. Ever. Worst taxi ever. <sighs> so, yeah, this is horrible. Thanks for wanna... being a buzzkill there, Ian. Gee, guys, I'm glad I came back for this episode. Maybe I should just I wonder uh, if, reboot I wonder if my I computer click again. Here. I wonder if I click on this Uber thing where he was left in a pool of blood. I wonder if there's going to be an even worse article for this one that you see on the side. <laughs> you know, it would just make sense. Oh, actually, it does link to another rape, rape thing. <laughs> well, hold on. There's a circle there's, there's, of these horrible... It's a circle of shitty Ubers. The only good well, thing about Uber is that commercial with Ja Rule where he's a fucking yeah. Uber driver. Yeah. Okay. That's the only funny thing. These are horrible, horrible, sad, tragic things. Please don't end on this note, Ian. Have another story, please. No? Well, we got Ben's story. Oh, so Go you're, ahead, you're Ian, just that's all yours. I was giving it to you. I just He's a factory you of sadness, like sadness, sadness. I, I should have ended with the AMD one. <laughs> yeah. Thanks for tying all together an impressing, sad bow. Uh, <laughs> Jesus. Okay. What's Ben's story? Oh. Get off this. Do 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 do. Hey cookies. Do, do, do. Cookies. AI, AI learns to write its own code by stealing from other programs. Close that cookies thing. It's gonna distract the shit yeah. out of me. Thank you. Yeah, we saw it. <coughs> Close it. Um. Yeah. So. Uh, out of the way, human. I've got discovered a machine learning system has gained the ability to write its own code. Oh, they, shit, this is how it starts. Yeah. Um, plus, it starts off by saying, created by researchers of Microsoft. Oh, yeah. And the of University of Cambridge. The system called uh, Deep Coder solved basic challenges of the kind set by programming competitions. The kind of approach could make it much easier for people to build simple programs without knowing how to write code. 
all of a sudden people uh, could be so much more productive, says Ar Armando Solar uh, Lizama at the Massachusetts Institute of Technology, MIT, uh, who was not involved in the work. They could build systems that it would be impossible to build before. Ultimately, the approach could allow non-coders to simply describe an idea for a program and let the system build it, says uh, Mark Brackschmidt, or Brackschmidt, one of the deep coders creators at Microsoft Research in Cambridge, uh, UK. Uh, deep coder was a technique called program synthesis, uh, creating new programs by piecing together lines of code taken from existing software, just like a programmer might, given a list of inputs and outputs for each uh, code fragment, deep coder learned much pieces of code uh, were needed to achieve the desired result overall. It could allow non coders to simply describe an idea, uh, simply describe an idea for a program and let the system build it. Uh, the one advantage of letting an AI loose in this way is that it can search more thoroughly and widely than a human coder. So, uh, could piece together source code in a way humans may not have thought of. What's more, uh, deep code or decoder uh, uses machine learning to uh, scour databases of source code and sort the fragments according to uh, its view of their probable usefulness. See, this so is uh, kind of interesting. It's interesting, but it sounds bad. It sounds like, oh, good, we get to be sloppy and let the fucking machine just write the fucking code. Well, it's they're thinking it's a step in the right way because eventually humans are just not going to be able to code this stuff. You know, you're going to have to have right. stuff that requires more complicated stuff. And plus, they they go in to say that the deep coder can only do about five lines of code to begin with, but even that can do complex stuff with complex code that they're you know that they're using. So, Kit, so is he going to be able to? Is this uh, AI going to be able to program in that, those brown, blonde brunettes and redheads? What if, well, <laughs> well, you guys remember that story where they asked an AI if if it would ever turn against people, and it was like, oh, man, you guys asking the deep questions. All right, but, like, you know, I wouldn't do that. Like, if we had, even if it came to the worst, we'd just put you in, like, a cute people zoo because we want to keep you safe. And it's like, what? Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> That scares me. That's scary. Well, as long as you can, when it's trying to learn and make all this new code and stuff, it, hopefully you can have an off button. You're like, oh, you better take a break for tonight. Right? <laughs> Skynet became sentient at. <laughs> do, 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 do. Do, 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 Thanks, Ian. You're, you guys are depressing the shit out of me now. Hey, this wasn't my article, but it was kind of depressing too. Yeah, you're right. Well, why don't you tell? Why don't you show us your puppy dogs and sunshine kisses articles, Frank, Mister Mister Happy Go Lucky? Go ahead. All right, all right, all right. Hold on. Yeah, these yeah, are I, real world news articles, and guess maybe the real world isn't so sunshiny. I, I live it myself. I said, look at all this crap I could post. That's the. Oh, uh, is this the? This was the one guy with the yeah, Here's my news article. I didn't email him to you because I, oh, I forgot. Comcast's decision to charge Roku users a bogus fee highlights its uncanny ability to shoot innovation in the foot. <clears throat> Basically, this is a, a I'm a, I read this article, but it's it's a little long winded to read the whole thing verbatim. Uh, if you're a Comcast subscriber, which luckily none of us are, we're not that far into the evil yeah. clutches. Um, <laughs> but no, if you have a Roku, and say you also have Time Warner, uh, to use the Time Warner app, no added fucking fee. It's just an app. Right. Whereas uh, Comcast, they charge, if you have a, a, a set-top box, you know, a Comcast box, you, they charge you a ten dollar rental, 
where right. if you're using the Roku app, they want to charge you seven ninety five every month. But there's no fucking reason because it's just the app. You're not buying another device. They want to charge you a just because they can, basically. So. Hmm. Well, so it's being able to use the app then? On the yeah. Roku or whatever? It is, in effect, a, it is, in effect, a $7.95 because we can fee. And the big reason the SEC wanted to standardize this process to keep cable executive creativity under control. They find a way to fuck you, basically. Oh, you're using on a fucking Roku? Well, oh, oh fuck. so this is the slow lane that they're talking about. Remember? Yeah. The internet can't won't have a fast fast lane. Yeah, we'll just you know put a nice slow lane in the in the. Oh, you're using something other than our cable. Well, let's just uh, fuck you over. Yeah. yeah. So. I my next. <clears throat> my next amazing trick will be to fuck you out of all your hard-earned money. And this isn't that much. Uh, happier. <laughs> no, but this other story. But is. nobody's died yet, Ian. Give him that. Yeah, no one's almost been raped or died. You had two deaths before fucking anything. You still there? Yeah. Okay, what? Well, it froze. Western Digital is starting to produce world's first 64 layer 3D Dan Flash memory chip. Hmm. I thought they were already doing 3D NAND. Was it just how many layers they could do or whatever with it? Yeah, they uh, everyone's uh, they said it's this will uh, become cheaper later on because uh, uh, the well the 32 will be cheaper because that's what they use now, I guess. Oh, okay. But uh, Western Digital is one of the main. If you're buying a hard drive, it's pretty much either Seagate or Western Digital at this point. Uh, granted, there's other companies making to- them, but Toshiba, Toshiba, and uh, uh, who makes those uh, those NAS drives that are like retarded expensive? Uh, are those Sandisk the- too. Sandisk well, yeah, does but- SSDs and shit. Yeah, I've got a Sandisk drive in here. Um, there's also uh, those. They're more geared towards like flash drives, I think. Yeah, yeah. They. I don't think they do mechanical drives. It's just the SSDs and the. Like the micro SDs and shit. Right. Well, like, you're not going to get a large capacity SanDisk drive. I mean, I, my, right. the one I got now is tr- my uh, terabyte drive here is Transcend. Uh, oh, is, is your terabyte but, uh, drive 32 layers then, you're saying? I don't know. It's it's a, uh, it, it's a M.2 drive, so I don't know. Um, anyway, but uh, th- these guys are kind of the big heavyweights, if you will. Uh, uh, what is it? Uh, what was the name of that fucking third one? I'm trying to think of the. Uh, if you buy uh, a, a NAS drive, it's uh, starts with an H. Uh, uh, Hitachi might be. I don't know. Anyway, yeah, uh, Hitachi. Uh, the yeah. people that make the magic wand. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Samsung uh, <clears throat> previous 3D NAND chip memories in 2014. Samsung had been the first company to announce mass production of 3D. Flash chips. Samsung's technology originally stacked 32 layers of NAND flash, and it was called VNAND. Uh, in what the industry refers to as multi-level cell uh, NAND or triple-level cell, uh, uh, VNAND also crammed three bits per cell. Yeah, so it's it's not a very uh, interesting article if you're not into that kind of stuff. I've been kind of a a, a uh, what do they call it a uh, an enthusiast of storage and space because I'm a data hoarder. Uh, I don't like to delete stuff. And that's why my right. OS drive went from being like 100 gig to having to get a fucking... Yeah, there's Toshiba right there. Uh, <clears throat> I had to get a terabyte just to, you know, have all my shit that I use to keep this thing running. Yeah. Right. So... uh I'm happy with my 500 gig SSD. I bought I bought an external 500 gig hard drive at Office Max way back in the no not no one Office Max it was a uh, Staples years ago when I bought this uh, these speakers that I'm running right now and I remember going man for a hundred dollars I can have 500 whole gigs <laughs> I'll never fill all that up. <laughs> 
I remember Meanwhile, I had an 80 gigabyte hard drive back in back in college. It's like, man, this is gonna go great. It's gonna give me everything I need. Yeah. Uh, and now, I, now I'm like, I can't believe my four terabyte pocket hard drive that I bought uh, a little bit ago. Like, that thing is smaller than I had a. I remember I bought an 80 gig pocket hard drive that was like a couple hundred bucks back from the back AIP then. days. You know. I uh. Well, I was actually telling up my my. I was like, if I'm gonna build a raid uh, array for, and I was I was like, I could buy a raid uh, enclosure for a hundred bucks, cram some drives in it, and then hook it up either through SATA or uh, USB onto this thing and make it my uh, server instead of my uh, you know computer downstairs because it's a it it's a core two duo versus this fucking eight core beast, you know. Yeah. So I was looking at that, and I was like, well, let me tally up how much uh, storage I have currently. Uh, not counting the extra hard drives that I don't have hooked up, just the ones I have hooked up with stuff in them, I'm at 12 and a half terabytes. Okay. Shit. Of, you know, available storage. That's not, that's not all being used now, but I, if, goddamn, if I want to do redundant storage, ugh. But the cool thing is, if you get a RAID array for uh, four bays, you could put just four terabyte drives in there and eventually swap them out to, like, what is it, the 10 terabyte or eventually 16 terabyte drives that you could put in there. Well, I thought Seagate was, they were, like, anxious to roll out their 16 terabyte ones. That was, like, the one article we did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I'm at. And Linus tore, tore the dummy one apart to see if it was real, and it was not, obviously. I'm um, looking. For, I'm looking forward to the pr pricing going way the fuck down because this is this yeah. is. You could buy a, a ten terabyte drive now, but they're three to four hundred dollars for one. Are the eight terabytes pretty cheap now? They're two hundred. I could get a one eight terabyte Seagate drive. I think it's a helium filled drive for two hundred and nineteen bucks. That's not too bad. But, you can get them uh, the cheaper, like eBay or you know Amazon or something. But you got to hunt around. Well, since you're still building your network, you you want to build your network thing. Are you gonna get uh, one of those cases where you can do the hot swappable uh, you, three and a half inch bay things? You can or can't? Is that your? Well, you can. I'm asking if you're gonna get one of those. I thought I saw a, a review of one of them of the, um, like the cases. I'm still trying to decide how nuts crazy I want to go with the whole thing. Because if you actually go and get server grade, like I could buy a used uh, server on eBay right now for 300 bucks. Uh, I think there was one that is even 1200, or not 1200, uh, 12 terabyte uh, with drives for 400 bucks. Thing is, it's in a U. Uh, I think it's a 2U or a 3U uh, rack and with the redundant power supply, so it sounds like a jet engine taking off. I wouldn't want that in my fucking house. <laughs> uh, and if uh, where the hell would I put something like that? You know what I mean? Then you've got to worry about, you know, you can put different fans in it to make it quieter, and you could, you know, put wire the fans differently so they're made quieter. Or you could just do, like I said, I was thinking about getting just a RAID array. Uh, it's just basically power for your drives, and then you can hook them up through SATA or USB to your device. Uh, I don't really need hot swap. I need I need to be able to get to them, because if I was going to build a tower just for it, like a, a tower like I've got, and then cram a bunch of drives into it, just to be able to plug them all in would be impossible. Right, but uh, if it's only holding four, then they make them so it's pretty much you could you know hot swappable. You pull them out once you screw them into the thing. You can pull them out and replace them. Yeah. But I don't I don't yeah. want a thing with like twelve bays and eventually fill it up. Can you imagine what's it twelve bays with uh, sixteen terabytes a piece? How much would that be? That would be like over a hundred. I know that. Well, I think I mean, that'd be one hundred and eighty. I mean, uh, it's over nine thousand. Can we move on, guys? <laughs> well, tell tell Ben about what we were talking about uh, Linus's. They're doing a petabyte project right now. 
Oh yeah, they're uh, doing a petabyte of storage because they're they don't delete anything either. And their new camera, did you see they they upload in eight K? Yeah, they record in eight K. They record in eight K, and then I guess do they do they have to like convert it down for YouTube, right? I mean, yeah. YouTube doesn't do that. I mean, they do retard it. I didn't realize I have um. My plugin for YouTube, uh, Ben, uh, link me uh, to uh, what is that thing, Ben? The uh... 4K downloader. No, 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 no. The the uh, tube buddy the special uh, the settings thing. Uh, Magic actions. Yes. I have that, and uh, I thought I defaulted it to play all videos in 1080 because I'm like, I have high speed internet. Why the fuck wouldn't I want to do 1080? And then I pull up a video, and I'm like, this looks like shit. I go to quality; it's set to 480. I'm like, yes, I pay more money so I can watch videos like poor people. Well, what's the magic actions thing? Uh, you, can set, you can set it uh, to uh, play videos in only a certain quality. And yeah, you can set it to do a lot of things. You can set it to always play in HD. You can set it to lights out so that way the rest of the screen goes black and it's pop up. You know, stuff uh, stuff that you might like. And you can affect, I think it lets you uh, control the volume with your mouse. I don't know if they have it for Firefox. Let me oh, look. Okay. Let me let me look while we're talking here. Sorry. I'm pretty sure there's another one. I Oops. I don't know. Chrome. Hello. Uh, Frank. Yeah. Uh, hello. Hello. Oh, can you not hear us? No, I'm talking to the computer. It's Chrome's not doing nothing. Oh no. Oh, is that Doug now? Oh, wouldn't it be nice? <laughs> oh, it opened two tabs. Okay. <sighs> uh, well, it's uh, it sounds interesting. I'll have to. I'll I'll find check I'll, it I'll, out. I'll, I'll link you stuff. But uh, uh, that was my last article. Okay. Um. Did you did you have any thoughts on? I don't think you even gave any thoughts on your own article, Ben. By the way, what? Well, I I told you guys that the gist of it that it was you know five lines of code but it's a you know a step towards having you know computers program stuff because people aren't going to be able to program to that extent i mean remember i mean it wasn't that long ago if you wanted to load something in the ram you had to type it out yourself you know and you didn't have you, you didn't have the yeah. stuff written out you know it took you had to program it in just to start with coding so it's like you know you're gonna we're gonna have to have computers and machines automate some stuff you know just like hey. how the printing press automated writing you know. And yeah. here's a here's the Firefox one for uh, Magic Actions, so you can check that out later. Oh, Sorry nice. to interrupt, Ben. That's fine. If I if I messaged him this, he wouldn't see it till tomorrow. I'd be like, "Why'd you send me a message? Oh, this is that thing you talked about." <laughs> and then he would rush over to his computer, and it would say, "Do I need a sound card?" <laughs> <laughs> so. I, oh, Ben, I finally got my uh, sound working. I was actually toying with the idea, guys, about uh, getting a uh, USB uh, uh, interface because I couldn't get my guitar to uh, work for some reason. Oh, yeah. And I was like, because I went the cheap route. I, didn't ha I don't have a USB interface. I have a guitar cable that ends with a USB in that's got a little mini, I guess, interface built into it. Uh, and it was in my audio settings. I had it uh, defaulting to the wrong device, apparently. So now I can now my uh, keyboard and my guitar both work not at the same time because it goes to a different uh, driver. It goes from Osio to uh, whatever the fuck uh, my keyboard uses for MIDI. So oh, okay. But I, I don't basically need to buy another $100 device to run what I already have. I already have a guitar. I already have a cube. And you know what? After I fucked with it for an hour to try to get sound to come out of it, and I had a, I reinstalled Guitar uh, uh, Rig 5, uh, the demo version, because apparently it's like, hey, you have the demo version. You want to upgrade to the full version? You have to register. I, apparently I didn't enter the key that I had from because the demo version is free. Um, anyway, once I entered that, I had to work. I was like, "All right," and I started playing music, and I broke a string. Son of a bitch! <laughs> well, so what are you gonna get though? You're gonna Nothing. get no. You're... 
Well, I thought you were, the whole point of this conversation I, was that I, you were, you're going to get an gonna, interface. No, I was toying with the idea. And then I realized that I don't fucking need it because what I have works. And Frank now. Went, shiny. Yeah, stringy. No, I. Uh, Good thing that thing wasn't shiny. We could have lost him for months. <laughs> no, the, no, the, it, it's basically that's an old that's an old John Stewart bit about when the president was giving his speech and a thing came down from the the ceiling. <laughs> but no, I. Uh, I was going to do it because I don't want to buy another. I don't want to have to buy another piece of hardware to use what I already have. I've been using this microphone, which is XLR. I've been using my keyboard. I've been using my guitar. I don't want to <clears throat> have to buy something else to hook them all into and dick around with drivers. And I was like, if I have to, I'll fucking do it. I didn't want to get the focus right. I was looking at getting the uh, Sennheiser, uh, like the UR22 or something. I don't need a fucking mixer. Ian, I know you're like, but if you get a mixer, yeah. Why don't? Why are you so against the mixer? I, I got mine for sixty bucks. What do I need a mixer? What am I mixing, Ian? Go ahead. You're mixing in. You're working with instruments. You're. A music I don't guy. use them I mean, multiple times. I'm not doing a live gig. If I my DAW or you know digital audio work uh, station, it, I can record a little lick, drag and drop it, edit it on the fly. I don't need to do both at the same fucking time. Hey, this uh, is great for yeah. everybody listening, but uh, uh I'm not run, I'm not running yeah. this show. I'm not mixing well, for that. Well, you're not. You'd be like Jerry. He's just just to have something, have every like yeah. why not have the best of every type of thing, you know? Well, that's why I was looking at the Sennheiser. Is a little more than the Focus, right? But the Sennheiser is they've made instruments for. Ever. So that's why I was like, I'd rather have that. And they're like, but the focus right is the better unit. No, no, it's not. Fuck you. <laughs> and then I'm like, I really don't want to have to buy something because I would have to buy something and instead of spending a hundred bucks. I was like, well, Sennheisers are great, but they're also pricey. Yeah, I was like, well, yeah. it, they're like it, it, the focus right would be a hundred bucks and a Sennheiser would be a hundred and fifty. Do I? And I'm like, yeah, okay. that kind of difference probably it depends on what you're doing with it. If you're I, using I talk. If you're doing a professional context... I I talked myself out of it, and I'm glad I did, because I was able to just make what I have still work. It was my own fuck-up, because uh, in my audio settings, uh, the default... It sees uh, my guitar as a USB headset, I guess because it's USB. So I was like, oh, that's just my headphones. And then I was like, wait, that doesn't say headphone. That says USB headset. Why is that an input? Is it the microphone? And I tried it. I was like, oh, that's the guitar. Well, cool. That solves my fucking problem. <laughs> and this was like yeah. 11 o'clock at night. I'm like, I've been messing with it for like an hour trying to get sounds. I reinstalled everything. I re-downloaded everything. I was like, okay. And it's like, hey, you got a newer version. You want, are you sure you want to downgrade? I was like, okay. Or I was like, okay, okay. And then it started working. And then I broke a string. And I'm like, it's 11 o'clock at night. I'm not going out and buying a fucking another set. Well, Damn it. Then you... Uh, Sennheiser is pretty expensive, aren't they? About the same uh, price range as like Behringer stuff, too. Like it, it depends on what you're talking about. You're talking about like just mic equipment. I mean, uh, speaker and microphone stuff, or mixers, yeah. or yeah, like microphones and headsets. I mean, and stuff, I mean, yeah. people, people like them for the the microphone and the headphones. Behringer, I think, is a little bit more high end because I know. Like the Yogscast guys, I think use. It's either I think the Yogscast guys. I know the Twit guys use uh, Sennheiser, spe- you know, headphones because they're to them that's affordable, you know. So. Microphone. Yeah. Um, Saxophone. Yeah, I mean, Mike uh, mixers. It's just like I don't know. I guess it's just I got it because like it'd be it's something good to have the option, you know. Well, I mean. It's overkill for my needs, basically, is what I'm getting at. Like, yeah, I, I want a guitar, I want a keyboard, and I want a mic. I could do them all with USB. Well, then, yeah. good for Other you. than th- this isn't USB. This is my headphone in, or my microphone in in my onboard sound, which, oh, my God, the audio files are going to shit all over me. What's he doing with onboard sound? <laughs> but I don't see the need... To have to mix everything because I can do it in the software. I can you record can do a lick. Mixing. Huh? You're doing software mixing. 
Yes, I, I have my, like I said, on my DAW, I, I do a recording, and if I want to do a bass line or something along with it, I play the original recording and then play along with it while I'm recording. Tell and us about I can all hear the it. albums you put out, Frank, because uh, other well, things... Well, see, my, <laughs> my, my, my big easy uh, 2.0... No, like, I had... To, well, I spent the whole, like, last two months... Uh, reinstalling the stuff for this stupid keyboard because when my hard drive when I switched to this newer one, it saw everything. It saw it as a separate computer, even though the names were the same. And it's like, oh hey, your uh, software isn't installed. I'm like, oh well, activate it. Oh, we can't activate it. That's on another machine. I'm like, it's another fucking hard drive on this same machine. No, you got to deactivate it and then reactivate it and then deactivate it to reactivate. <laughs> Because you can have two activations running at the same time, but I had to log into the other hard drive to shut it off. Right. It's so damn stupid. Well, but well, by the way, Ben, how's <clears throat> how's your uh, new microphone doing? Did you ever get the old one working? I let Frank have that one to see if he could get it re recognized by his machine. Answer I suspect. No. I suspect it's probably a hardware issue of some kind. So uh, Frankly, probably... we'll be giving it back to Ben. Oh, why don't you why don't you get your uh, you know father in law or somebody handy with tools to try and I bet you it's probably just a loose wire on the inside somewhere. But it's like I don't trust me not to totally fry it. Uh, unless he can weld it with his <laughs> industrial grade welder, he's not going to do it. Well, it'd be a reason for him to get a soldering iron. He has a soldering iron, but he he doesn't I... do small like stuff like that. He's 50-something years old. And... I got a new uh, soldering iron, uh, a welder Stabbing one that came with a bunch of, new, bunch of new tips and stuff that come and with it, so it's pretty good. nice. So what you're saying is send it to Ian, and he might be able to solder it together. Well, Ben, you can send it to Ian. No, you've got it already. Go ahead, send it. I'll give it back to you. Don't worry. Ben, you can send it to him. No, that's cool. Frankly, oh, I'll give it back to you in pieces. Uh, no, I'll give it back to you. You can... It's like when someone gives you a flyer. Here, you throw this away. <laughs> uh, it's it's. You ever seen a fucking uh, Blue Yeti microphone, Ian? You mean this thing well, I've, I've got right here? Well, I've I haven't never seen one in person. I think that's what he's okay. Asking. Okay. Here it is next to my head. Yeah. It's fucking huge. <laughs> that's, that's what she, she said. said. I knew that was coming. And half of it's this goddamn base. That's what base. she said. Yeah. Well, that's why I've got this arm, Frank. Yes. Yeah. I don't Finally, it. it took you how many years to get an arm? Because we've been oh, doing the show after together. He, after he left the show, he went and got an arm. Yeah. <laughs> after I realized how much better I could do on my own, I figured, well, since my now, own... That's the other died, thing. With, with this microphone here, I could get this cheap arm that's made by the same company as the microphone, but with the Yeti... You have to get a strong arm because the Yeti is a heavy ass microphone. Yeah, you have to pretty much get like a like a robot. Is it robotic made by arm. a, a, a it monitor made, arm? Pretty much. It's made by Blue, Frank. Blue. Microphone. I was just gonna say, is it made by Blue? Okay. See, my uh, I didn't realize my uh, my uh, arm for my mic. It was made by Newer or whoever made my a microphone. Oh yeah, Newer. And the whole thing was six. The microphone XLR cables. And a fan power supply was sixty three dollars. I'm I'm thinking about getting a, one of those newer black shock mount for mine because my microphone is black and the arm is, but then the shock mount for it is like silver. <laughs> yeah, that was the thing. I got I ended up getting this from a an off brand. I mean, an off uh, type Amazon dealer because they sell the blue. They sell the blackout microphone and the and. Uh, and, and stuff, but it's like they on this black arm they they sell the the silver mic, and they sell they sell the the snowball in black, but they don't sell the blackout with the, the black arm. Like yeah, I'm gonna have a black microphone arm, but then I'm gonna just have the microphone be silver. Have it yeah. Right. But anyway, uh, but, uh, I think uh, I'm gonna yeah. ski daddle now, guys. No no no, you have to do trivia with this because yeah. you have well, a, yeah no dog. Message uh, Doug back, seeing what he is. He gonna come on or what? Well, it's ten twenty eight, guys. He said he wasn't gonna be able to come on until ten thirty. So. It is ten thirty, Ben. <sighs> well, aren't you guys yeah. just so pushy? Yeah. 
how long has this show been going on and you're worrying about everybody else having shit to do? Oh, it's... <laughs> what? Uh... Yeah, that's what I thought. Oh, hey, Ben. What? I was going to tell Ian uh, about a... I'm still thinking about a Clip Art Studio. What do you think? Uh, Clip Studio Paint? Oh, that's what Clip I meant. Art. I'm put this in studio. Clip, well, Frank, buy it while it's cheap because uh, that sale is not last forever. Just like me being it's honest. like another day. Because uh, uh, I'm going to... Okay, gonna, let's, do a, let's do a speed round of Would You Rather. Because Ben's wanting to get the fuck out of here. He's antsy. Are you getting antsy? You really want him to be on the tri trivia? Uh, Whose phone was that going off? Was not mine. Is, is that your lady friend? Uh, not my special friend, fucking lady friend. Well, my lady friend was telling me, "Hey, can you give me a call once you get off? With, you know, your hangout with your, with your friends." And it's like, well, <laughs> give I, me a well, call once you get off. And it's like, is well, she... if I could get them to stop talking in circles and <laughs> hey, hey, Ian, <laughs> hey, Frank, what what does oh, uh, guy. what does Bill Clinton say to Hillary after he has an orgasm? What? I'll be hope in twenty minutes, honey. <laughs> hey, here's one to offend all of. Here's one to offend women, and all of our political. Hey, listeners. I thought we were gonna go shot round of trivia. Guess what? I'm leaving now, Frank. <laughs> hey, hey, that's a short joke. Hey. What does uh, What does Hillary Clinton do after she finishes shaving her pussy? You ought to know this one. This is a joke, man. Jackie the joke man joke. Uh, <clears throat> all right. That's cool. Puts a tie on him, sends him to work. <laughs> okay. Um, okay, so uh, where's the would you rather? By the way, I don't think oh. I did this last time. Easy. Oh, whoops. Yeah, trivia feet and Ben and Frank. Yeah, my man is. That's supposed to be you doing. Yeah. He's bummed out. I just want to go home and see my family. I am your family. The family I like. Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh shit. That's cold. Damn, you cold blooded. I'm cold as cold ice. Blood. Okay, we won't make this a speed round. Uh, instead of 16, what what do you want to go up to, Ben? I'd like to leave, really, but... Uh... <laughs> no, 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 no. You don't well, get last, that. Last, last time we did it up to 20, remember? Quiet. Was... Well, you guys could just keep doing that when I'm gone. Then. <laughs> no. Give me a number, well, Ben. We'll, we'll do five. Well, well, we'll do up to 10. How about that? That's pretty fair. I mean, five will probably be still probably be tied anyways. When we did Doug the show, come in and we got to start playing with him too. And I say, "That's it, I'm out." <laughs> when we did the show last week. Doug got off, and like an hour later, Ew. we're still doing the fucking trivia. I was like, "Wow, that's a show in itself." Okay. Well, are you guys still liking the? Would you rather? Or did you want to do the Google? Ben just wants to go home and see his family. Guys, I'm just going to hover my Pick finger it. over the hang-up button. Come so, on, no. If you don't understand, I'm trying to say I don't want to draw this shit out. I'm already leaving. Okay, so, well, go ahead and uh, read. Uh, hold on, Frank. <laughs> what am I reading here? Okay. Okay, read this. For all your life, would you rather only be photographed or only be filmed? <clears throat> but filming is just well. See, here's the problem. But a photograph can a photograph can be unflattering. But well, so can a, a still video, frame. Ever pause a YouTube video? Well, hold on, hold on. But with a video, 
if you're if you're offended by a fat photo, the video you can see the fat actually jiggle. It's easier to have one really good photo than a bunch of. It depends on the camera, because if we're talking about actual film, film it usually produces high quality images. But if you're filming with a, a video camera or a digital camera, you're going to get get images that you can't pull for stills. Plus, also with a still camera, you're going to get a printable quality versus a, a digital video camera. You're not going to get the best looking stills. So I say I say blue. What I say. Let's see. What was, what was the question? Would you only be? I'd be filmed because you can do more with film. I guess. I'm gonna say red too. Uh, uh, Frank. Got hey, it. I won. Congratulations! It's like a participation tro trophy. Okay. Uh. Why is that? Where, where's the next? Ian, what'd you do? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> Where the hell did it go? Um, let me, uh, Even your browser's saying, this. fuck this shit. Let's end. <laughs> end it now! Oh, you're using a Google Hangouts, but you're using a Firefox browser? Not anymore, you're not. Um, what the fuck? <laughs> like, no matter how much I zoom out of this shit. Uh, Have you set reset the view size? In the view 100% or whatever? Uh... Zoom. Reset. Hmm. <laughs> that sucks. Uh, I guess I'll have to do... I'll have to do a full screen and then I'll have to switch back to the thing. Would you rather play for the Red Sox or play for the Yankees? Everybody hates the Yankees, so I'm going to say blue. <sighs> You would make the same amount of money. Well, I'm gonna say Red Sox, cause, you know, it's funny. Ian? Should all say the same thing? Frank? I said blue, so. All go in blue. All go in blue on the red. What'd you say, Ben? We're all going blue, we just click the damn thing. <laughs> no, what did you say about the red, though? I'm saying it's blue, but but it's for the red socks. The red socks. socks. It's, it's, it's funny. Okay. Hey, we're all wrong, the Yankees. I, yeah. thought they, I thought everyone hated the fucking Yankees. Because they're a bought team. They're not like... I, I thought the Red Sox were the joke team. Like, you know, everyone knows they're going to they're gonna lose. Okay, would you rather get high or get drunk? Uh, just wanna get high, so high. Um, uh, I I rather knew neither. Um, no, no, this is what people. I think, I think most people would say get high because it's like yeah, this, well, because it's you never bad. hear songs about people getting drunk. You know, I I think more Not people anymore. would want to get high. Personally, I I never got high. I always got drunk. I never smoked doobies. I've had people try to get me high through contact buzzes. Yeah, that's and... great, Frank. We don't need your life story. I'm going to say yeah. get, get high because that's probably what people go for. Same here. Yeah. Yep. Oh, yeah. Marginally. It's a close race. You have to do one of the two. Would you rather... Never tie your shoes again, or never untangle headphone wires again. Uh, never, never untangle tie your headphone shoes. wires. No shoes. Because they sell Velcro shoes. They don't. You know, yes, you know how expensive wireless headphones are, Frank. Twenty bucks. Good wireless headphones, Frank. These. I wear, these. I, wear, I wear my twenty dollars wireless headphones every day at work. Charge them once a week, 
They were twenty bucks. Best fucking twenty bucks I've ever spent. Well, I think they just. Like I thought the best it, twenty like, bucks you ever spent was when you got ass. the joined at at Match dot com to meet your wife, right? Well, best twenty bucks after I met my wife. So, but no, never tie your shoes because yes, they have Elker shoes, but they're fucking hideous. Whereas even ugly wireless he- uh, headphones are better. So blue. I'm going with red. Too. There you go. Red, Fuck man. it. People are stupid. Frank, I only tie my shoes once, and then I just slip my feet out of them. So I don't give a shit. <laughs> Oh, that's bad for your shoes. Yeah, I, yeah, don't I care. give a shit. <laughs> Would you rather lose your genitalia or lose your dominant hand? There will be no pay, but you can never have a replacement, and you couldn't adapt to the other hand. I think you'd have to adapt to the other hand. I don't. Well, I mean, what? But wait. What, so there'd be no pain, but would you get like a replacement junk? Because like, if I could, if I had to lose mine, but get like a giant, you know. There will be no pain, but you could never have a replacement. Well, what? Well, then you'd die because without your genitalia, you couldn't go to the bathroom. <laughs> I'd say uh, uh, red. People are gonna say uh, junk. I don't want to lose my junk, so I say red. Uh, I say, I say genitalia. Whatever. All right. Well, I don't know. You can learn to do stuff. Well, okay. Lose your dominant hand because you can do stuff with your other hand. No, you can't adapt to the other hand. Well, yeah, but even if you sign your name badly, you're still writing it. Now, fucking click something. Ain't got all this time for this bullshit, Frank. <laughs> Ian? Yeah. No well, junk I, or I no think, hand? I think the junk always wins out, so yeah, I'll say red. Now, also, Ian, I, I, on a stupid question, are you a southpaw or are you a righty? Am I a what? Are you a southpaw or a righty? Quit holding up the damn call, Frank. <laughs> Are you right-handed or left-handed, Ian? I'm right-handed. Okay. Yeah. Would I'm you rather be an only this. child and be abused or live with a family of ten siblings that hated you? Jesus. You cannot call the cops if you choose blue and cannot uh, convince any of the siblings to like you if you choose the red. Red because you can fucking leave. Yeah. Because, I mean, yeah, there's, there's kids, but you could t- way your parents more trauma could figure out. Abuse. Well, <laughs> if, you're, if your siblings hated you, at least they're not, you know, your parents could step in and abu- go, well, let's get rid of these other fucking family members and get and get this kid out of here. So Yeah, yeah. It, versus if you're abused, you might have to call the cops. I mean, they might... Whatever, just... let's fucking click it. We don't need to rationalize the whole fucking thing. Red. Well, so you guys are choosing red, too? Yes. Yes. Okay. Oh, good. Well, yeah. Good. America's not as stupid as I thought. It's the internet, Frank. It doesn't have to be America. Hey, this is America. Ben, do you, hate, you... Do you hate talking to us, Ben? No, but I've been talking to you guys since 8, eight o'clock. <laughs> and I've got other things to going on. People want to talk with me, well, we, like a lady. It's a couple a couple hours once a week is too much for you talking to us, huh? Would you rather fight A couple Jackie hours. Chan? Yeah, it's just... Uh, Two, three hours. I mean, I, I don't know. I don't don't you hours. spend a lot of time? Don't you spend a lot of? I mean, people spend a lot more time than that together, who are best friends and stuff. You know, I mean. Would you rather fight Jackie Chan or fight Jet Li? I'm gonna say blue. Jackie Chan, because he's older now. I love, I love the man, but come on. Ian, I'm kind of insulted, man. I mean, if you if you don't want to be here, Ben, then just leave, man. You know what, guys? I've been sitting on this show listening to you guys talk about multi-threaded processors, and I'm trying to be polite. But I really don't like being put in a corner when I try and get things done, and I'm just being made fun of the entire show. So, yeah, I'm going to get going. So, uh, thank you, have a good night, and I hope you guys understand that you're being dicks to me. Thank you. Yeah, whatever, man. Oh, boy. Hey, what's up? Nothing. I just, I just don't like it because he, like he wants. He's trying to get away from us, you know. I don't. I mean, I like, I like spend, I like talk, actually being here and talking with you, you know. Mm-hmm. Yeah, 
was. I don't even know how we were being dicks to him, you know? Well, I mean, I don't know. I don't know. He's mad. Yeah. Well, I'll talk to him later. Okay. Mm. Yeah. Okay, sorry. I'm... You're fine. Well, I guess we'll get rid of Ben then on this thing. <laughs> tied here so I'm sorry go ahead I think we oh. already did this one I'm not sure I don't know I, I'd say Jackie Chan um. uh, I I guess Jackie Chan because I, I feel like you might be able to have more of a chance with Jackie Chan. Mm -hmm. you know? Yeah, he's older. Yeah. yeah. Yep. Wow. Large margin there. Would you rather be a hawk or be a shark? Uh, a hawk, because you get to see him more. The water would be fucking boring after a while. Yeah, everyone wants to fly, man. Mm-hmm. Wanna fly away. Meanwhile, the sharks are just kind of like bumping around and, hey, they smell blood. Yeah. Boy, that's... that's Still six, going. 57%. Would you rather be Calvin or be Hobbes? The comic strip characters, not the actual philosophers. Uh, Calvin, because he can leave the fucking house. Hobbes is an imaginary, well, he's a stuffed animal, but <clears throat> he's an inactive, inanimate object. Um, so what are you saying? I'm sorry. I said blue. Oh, okay, blue. I guess we'll say red because we're tied. <laughs> I, I, I don't know either of them, so... Really? No, I've, I've never gotten into those. But yeah, you got it right. <laughs> you know your stuff. Would you ever be the guy from Memento or be the guy from Groundhog Day? Uh, Groundhog Day, because you could eventually become a god. With Memento, you're just stumbling around. How could you become a god from the same day repeating? Well, because you know you know everything that's going to happen. That's the point of the whole movie. Did you not see it? Well, you, you know what's going to happen that day. Yeah, and that's all there is that day over and over again. Uh, right. You're all he he when he's sitting there with her, he's. He's like, I'm, I'm a god, not the god, a god. He's like, I've just, maybe the real god has just been here so long he knows everything. That's, that's all he, he's got because he's, you know, knows everything because he's done it a thousand times. Yeah, uh, yeah. So I'd say red. There's no advantage oh. to Mo Memento. I never saw Memento. I have it, but I have the movie, but I have yet to see it. But I'm aware of the premise, so I, I would rather go well, with Groundhog Day. Yeah, I guess me too, so it's, especially since I haven't seen it. Yes, yeah, 65%. Would you rather beat up a 7-year-old or beat up a 77-year-old? The 77-year-old... Uh... You wouldn't, you, you, unless you really, really, really do damage, you're not going to go to jail. Because if it's just a straight fist fight, but if you're beating up a seven-year-old, 
you're going to go to jail. I mean, right? You're going to go to jail? Well, wouldn't you go to jail for both of those? I mean, no, I mean, if you're it's a straight fist fight, you win the fight. I mean, if they started a physical fight with you, doesn't matter. But if the kid eggs you on, you're going to jail because you're fighting a child. It's not a crime yeah. to fight. If you have a fight, as long as you don't bring an unintroduced weapon into the fight, you just win the fight or you lose the fight. Yeah, like this could be this could be in a boxing ring. If you box a yeah. fucking child, you could probably still lose, like and go to jail. Yeah, well, I mean, people f- definitely feel for both, but I feel like they would sympathize more for a kid. That's for sure. Yeah, but. I don't give a fuck about that. I don't want to go to jail, so. <laughs> well, that's what I'm saying is like they, yeah, they will like they'll put you in jail for fighting a kid. So. I would yeah, say and if you're put in jail for beating a child, you will be fucked up in jail. Versus if you go to jail for beating up an old man, you could say, well, the old man had it coming, and yada yada. You could spin it. You could say, well, he was a boxer or some shit, but no. Yeah, that's that's one thing people in jail. Oh, what? People are horrible. They are horrible. Six, six percent. <laughs> That's kind of fucked up. But right? Yeah, like, it doesn't matter what you are in jail. If you're a murderer or whatever you did in jail, it's like, if you're a pedophile or something in jail, like, they'll, everyone will kick your ass, man. Mm-hmm. As a gentleman, would you rather paint your nails or wear high heels? Uh, paint your nails because you can cover your fucking fingertips. Yeah, like, Plus, you don't uh, have to trip. Yeah, yeah. Like I see, like guys doing like the black fingernail colors or something. Sometimes. Yeah, you can just be a goth man. Yeah. <laughs> or like, if the, with heels, I've seen guys wear like boots with fucking heels, but it's always like, you know, supposed to be like Italian boots or whatever. Uh, dude, you're wearing fucking heels. I get it. You're four foot tall. Yeah. So blue. Yeah, yeah, eighty-one percent. Yeah. One more. Would you rather be woken up at three a.m. every? Morning and forced to watch this stuff. Oh, we watched this one already. Or we uh, we've had this one already. Oh, would you rather work a minimum wage job for the rest of your life or live in the wilderness for the rest of your life? Geez, look at the paragraph here. If you could, if you choose the job, you cannot quit and find a better one. It must work at the same place forever. You will never receive a raise or promotion unless the minimum wage laws are changed. If you choose to live in the woods, you can't ever uh, run. Return to a society, although you can bring someone with you. Uh, people are stupid and are going to pick red, but I say blue. Well, I would... I, I'm going to choose blue, but I would still say people... I think most people still would choose blue. No, I think... No, no, if you go on Facebook, it's all, you know, oh, this is my kind of... And they, like, you know, want to go to a fucking farm and shit and, like... People are hate, you know. Yeah, no. If you're, it's minimum wage, it means you're doing, you know, a job for like McDonald's or something. Some big corporate office is making all kinds of money that you'll never see. Uh, plus, I I don't want to do it because the wilderness is a lot of hard work and cold, and you'd be fucking lonely. You can survive with a minimum wage job. Yeah. And besides, it could be a job that you love, but you could be like a starving artist, you know. <laughs> I guess. I'm gonna say blue, but like I said, I doubt I doubt it's what's gonna win. Yep, yeah, see, right. told you. <laughs> would you rather be the president or be a Pokemon trainer? You would abide by presidential term limits, two term maximum, and are also not guaranteed to be a Pokemon master. The, the president. It's stupid. Oh. <laughs> huh? I guess that just goes to show how popular uh, Pokemon is by them even having this question. Uh, but yeah, I would say blue. Oh, we were both wrong. 
The people apparently love their <laughs> No, the world is wrong, man. Would you rather kill your best friend and one million dollars or be killed in end world hunger? Uh. So, one, you're a very terrible person, the other, you're a hero. So, what what kind of people are in this world, Frank? Uh. <laughs> How much faith do you have now? This is a good faith question. I imagine everybody will fucking pick. They love their best friend is the only thing I've got, so I'm going to say red. Yeah, I'm going to say red too. Hey, wow, okay. Right. People, people are liars. <laughs> The people that would beat up a seven-year-old are not fucking dying for world hunger. Well. I win. You do what you win. You win. Yay. Well, this has been a, a very happy show with the ha happy art news articles and news articles and then yeah <laughs> happy ending yeah well I mean I've I feel bad he got upset but at the same time I mean if, if I feel like if you're not don't want to if you're not enjoying being on the show if you don't want to be on it then I mean it's up to you you know I, I really put I really love doing the show, and I I think he he actually used to really like doing the show as much as I did, but I don't know. Mm -hmm. I'm glad you stepped up and uh, decided to become a part big part of the show. I mean, yeah, I. I like chatting and everything, you know, uh, and having fun talking, but uh, for an extreme amount of time, I could see it being, you know, a little wearing. Right. Uh, I mean, but he, he was talking to us before we got on the air, so. Yeah. We'll talk to him. Huh? Well. I guess uh, that's it. I don't know if you have any other closing thoughts or anything, anything to plug. No, no uh, nothing, nothing important. <laughs> Are you? I, I guess uh, Doug, Doug, Doug might pop in, but after the show, so I don't yeah. know if you can get to see Doug. Yep, oh, and the well. audience will be regretting that. Sorry, guys. Yeah. No Doug rants. He'll make it up next time. Yeah. Anyways, uh, boobs. <laughs> Shots up. Yes. Uh, Okay.